welcome to Cooking with Crusha on the Road. We are here downtown Martinsburg outside of the kitchen. Jim, would you like to tell us what's going on down here yeah, today? Absolutely. It's a pleasure to be here. We're at the second annual Main Street Martinsburg Four State Food Truck Fest competing for $500 in bragging rights. It's great to be a part of Cooking with Crescia. To my left, Honest Donna Schofter. These are the judges. I'm Jim Klein. We're going to have a great time. Providing reliable protection since 1877, we are Farmers and Mechanics Insurance Companies. From small beginnings and over a century later, we maintain our dedication to our policyholders to provide dependable insurance protection and excellent customer service. Protecting everything from your home to your business has never been easier. Our team is here to ensure that you, your family, and your assets are taken care of. We enjoy giving back and doing our part to keep Martinsburg a great place to be. Welcome back to Cooking with Crusha. Guys, what a gorgeous day it is for this food truck fest down here. Last year, I believe we had a little bit of rain, but it didn't deter. We had a great crowd last year, and even more, it looks like this year. I believe that we have several categories that we're going to judge from. We have 25 food trucks. Jim, would you like to start off with what we're judging today? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I can't wait. It, everything that Main Street Martinsburg does, he just dials up the good weather. We're certainly enjoying it today. The categories include best dessert, what do you think about that, Donna? I'm really looking forward to that. It's, it's probably my favorite category. It's, it's crazy. They Absolutely. Put dessert first? Yeah. I love it. Why not? Best I think they know us. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> best truck design and setup, best food presentation, best flavor combo, best side, and best use of ingredient. Those are some great categories. They really are. Yep. Looking forward to um, seeing how the different trucks are using um, the resources that they have. I think last year um, you know, there were some a some, uh, little bit of difficulty with the menus, is it maybe too many menus. I think they maybe limited that a little bit this year to make it streamlined a little bit. So looking really forward to uh, another really successful event. I'm looking forward to bringing all these wonderful dishes and trying them all because I've tried all the food trucks and this is going to be a difficult decision because every one of them have their own cuisine, their own techniques, their own flavors. So this is really going to be difficult to judge because there are some phenomenal food trucks out Absolutely. there today. Absolutely. Yeah. With $500 on the line, this is a big deal. And, and kudos to TV10, WR, and RTV for being here to help promote Main Street Martinsburg cooking with Crescia. This should be an excellent opportunity Absolutely. today. Absolutely. And I didn't have breakfast and I had a late dinner, so I am ready to try all this food out. Insurance companies like to play games. They say they're on your side, but they aren't. We have a team that can handle any curveball they throw. At Burke, Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson, you get a dedicated lawyer, and every case gets a team effort. So you get nearly 150 combined years of experience going to bat for you. And we like to win. Join the team that takes your personal injury case seriously. Burke, Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson. We play hardball. Welcome back to Cooking with Crusha in downtown Martinsburg at the second annual Food Truck Fest. We have a sample of our first uh, judging food dish here, and obviously it's a blind test, so we have no idea where it came from. I am looking at the dish, I would say that it's probably Greek, and I think we have all agreed that that's what it is, but let's try it. Right. Jim, you want to go first? I'm sure thing, whatever you need. Let's give this a shot. Oh my goodness, so it looks good. I like the bread, the texture feels good. I lost the meatball, I'm getting that. <laughs> Sorry, Donna. Don't lose your meat. No, I'm definitely gonna take, and I'm gonna get a little bit of this beans and rice. Looks like there's a little bit of uh, maybe a, a pico, pico or yeah. some salsa there. It's, uh, not salsa, a um, little red beans and rice, I think. There we go. It looks delicious, it smells Donna. great it as well. It does smell very good. We go. Now we just need smell a vision Oh, I wish you guys, it does smell amazing. Yes. Boy, you guys do not know what you're missing out. Now, because remember, guys, we are tasting. This is not our meal because we have 24 more <laughs> of these dishes to try. All right. Get some of those, some of that pico. It was delicious. There you go. And now, uh, All right. Fresh, uh, all right, who's going? First bite. Right. First bite. Go. go ahead, guys. While I dish mine out, you go ahead. Hmm. Get a little bit of the rice and a little Cilantro bit of pico. Right Man, this smells delicious. All right. 
So it's some type of braised. I, I do not think it's lamb. I think it's like no. a braised beef. Okay. That's what I would guess. I know it's a little, little pale. It looks kind of maybe it's chicken. I'm not sure. Oh, yours Man, that's is. Yours is darker. This one's a little lighter. So oh yeah. Chicken. So you've got chicken. Oh okay. Yeah. They're three different ones. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. That makes it interesting. Okay. Yeah. A little spice. The spice is nice. It's a back end spice, which is uh, really good. Oh, yeah. Because it's not Just like when it first hits your mouth, it's not like, oh, this is too hot right. or anything like that. It's right. a, a great spice. Mm -hmm. Just just the right amount of heat. The meat is very tender. Mm -hmm. Let's try some of this. Try some of the bread, bread here. Yeah, the it very good hand carry opportunity until you put the rice into the mix. That's what makes it a little more difficult, I think. I love the flatbread. Yeah. It's uh, got a little crisp to it on the it outside. It does. With a, like a buttery taste. Mm -hmm. It's very it's, it's very good. Yeah, this is very, very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. This is definitely something that I would order. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to judge that. instead of feed our face. Okay, All let's right. hear it. Here we go. Let's see. Number one. So this no. is truck number one. I would go. And it wasn't a dessert, no. so our next uh, category is is uh, best food presentation. Yeah, I thought the way they they put it in the the, the they plated it well, plated it nicely. I agree um, with you there. And it was all nicely proportioned. Mm -hmm. Very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, I would give it a four. Yeah. I'm going to give, go with a four yeah. on food presentation. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay. sure, you know, could it have been better? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not certain that I would say it was perfect, but I thought it was very good. Outstanding. What about best flavor combo? What, what are you going to go with? <clears throat> I the thought that the, the spices that they used and I guess the way they probably prepared the, the meat on the sandwiches, um, uh, brought out the flavor well. I thought it paired nicely with the with the beans and the rice. So I'm gonna give that one. Um, what, what are we doing? Best food combo. Combo. Uh, I'll give it a. I'll give it a seven. I think the flavors together as a whole, mm -hmm. with with the sandwich, the rice, the beans, and then the pico on top was yeah. just I think. A great compliment mm -hmm. to this dish. I think I am going to give that an eight. Really, I'm going 7.5. Split the middle. Plus, I like decimal points. I think they're fun. <laughs> Next, best side. Where would we grade this on a scale of one to ten in terms of the side? So I'm guessing we're going with the the red beans and rice and the pico. Yes, that would be the side to this dish. And again, when you're judging sides with a dish. Each side is going to be different depending on the the type of food that you're judging, whether it's Italian, Greek, sure. Spanish, American, mm -hmm. what have you. And I think that the rice and beans with the pico was the number one side that I would use personally right. as a cook to put with, sure. with this dish. Mm -hmm. So I think as a best side, I'm going to go a nine. Wow. Yeah. Um, I thought that, like Crescia, it was, it was a really good pairing with the uh, with with the the main, I guess, sandwich. So I'm gonna give it an 8.5. 8.5. You guys are very wow. generous. I we feel like are I, starting I'm, this fest off with a bang, are we not? Like I'm gonna be the Guarnish Shelly of it all because I prefer a little more red beans with okay. my rice. I'm not gonna go quite that high. I'm, I think I'm gonna go with a. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with a straight seven. On the that's, best side. That's still a good number. Yeah. Good score. This Absolutely. is a very good score. This is yes. a very good dish, and I'm yeah. not being critical. I would definitely order this. I would pay and order this. Best use of ingredient on a scale oh, of 1 yeah. to 10. Wow. I, I I loved the flavor of the chicken, um, and, I, and I'm one of the I, – I, I like heat. Yes, I so do as well. I'm not afraid of spices. Um, I like to the, the marrying of those particular spices with the, with the meat. So I think – Wow. Um, I'm going to give it uh, also an 8.5. I wow. thought it was okay. delicious. Very good. Pressure. 
I think I'm right there with you. I'm going to do an eight as well because there's a lot of ingredients in this whole dish. And the way that, like you said, they were all married together mm -hmm. between the, the flavors, the sides, everything. So I am going to give it an eight. Yeah, I'm going with an eight as well. I'm a protein guy. The protein was cooked perfectly. I like that type of braise, mm -hmm. slow cook. This is definitely not something that was cooked you know, on a flat top, four minutes, you know, where this isn't a five guys type meal. Exactly. Definitely something I would purchase. So this is a great first yeah, start. Absolutely. So whoever this dish belongs to, kudos to you. It was phenomenal. Great job. With Honda, every summer adventure is the destination. Take your adventures even farther with Honda, America's most fuel-efficient full-line automaker. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 2.9% APR on a 2022 Honda Civic and a 3.9% APR on a 2022 Accord or 2023 HRV. CMA's Honda of Winchester, 3985 Valley Pike. CMA, moving lives forward. See dealer for financing details exclusive at SI based on EPA estimate of MY20 full-line automaker fleetwide fuel economy 2021 EPA automotive trends report. Ice. And it's yellow, so we know that much. Let's see what the flavor is. Mm. This has like a banana flavor to it. Yeah. At first I thought it was like lemon or maybe mango or something, but it's neither of those. Yeah, definitely got a banana flavor, I'm I think. Going banana. Yeah, mm -hmm. go banana. Yep. Oh, that is delicious. Yep, flavor's good. Flavor's good. Crisp. Yeah. It's a chilly day, but this is a good dessert. It's a good palate cleanser. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well. Good call. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. I would Can't say. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> can dress me up, Jim. Food presentation, I would say a four. Food presentation. Yeah. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can, that you you know, can, do. You can do with shaved ice other than kind of put it in a cup. <laughs> but, right. But... Um, they, the proportion size is good. Um, and they don't skimp on the on the shaved ice or the the syrup. So, I would give it um, I'd, I'd give it a a, a four point uh, four point two five. There we go. Wow, like quarter with points. Their, with their decimals. decimals, yeah. As far as flavor combo, this is all one flavor. So I think that that's probably not a category. Am I correct in saying that? Or well, I think. Um, yeah, it's not like a mixed mixed flavors or anything, right. but you've you've got a, you know. I I, I don't know. I, I, well, well, the score is one to ten, so let's give that go happy middle well, into yeah, well, a five for that category. Yeah, yeah. just give them a five. Um, not really a side dish. And skip that one again with that. Yeah, yeah skip we, that one. And. Um, Best use of ingredients. I mean, well, it's yeah, ice, so they're, they're, ice. They're, this is a high profit. Yeah. I would imagine a high margin. Yeah. Right. Uh, the ingredients were good. I, I did think that the longer, obviously, as I look at mine, yeah. the color it's obviously, you know, dro dropping down into. So you have to dig deeper to get into the flavor. So in terms of best use of the ingredient in the vessel, I almost wonder if less is more when you look at something like this. When you pile it way, 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 way high. Yeah. Would it be better if it'd be a smaller cup, or would it be better if there was less on top? I mean, I'm sure that you're going for providing the best value for your dollar. Right. But it just seems to me like in terms of the best use of the ingredient being ice, there's so much that the, the, the right. topping drops. And I would go with a seven for that. I would and drop I, I would like to add to that as far as the best use of ingredients, you know, the, the syrups. You know, this tastes like it's a high-end syrup. It doesn't taste like it's something that you would pick up, you know, at a local chain store or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with a 7 as well. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty accurate score. Um, we'll, we'll give it a... I'll go, uh, go 6.75. And then dessert. Clearly this oh, is a yeah. dessert item. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, absolutely. Kind of finishing off your... Uh, your, your uh, I'm going to go 2.5 for a dessert for myself. Five. Yeah. For dessert? Yeah. Scale. It's a scale of 1 through 10. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm at the wrong category. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. So I'm going to go 5.5 5 on that. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll give it a 5 also. I mean, I'm, um, I, I'm, I'm, I like the flavor. The banana was a good choice. Um, so I'll give it a 5. Okay. Yeah, well, banana on a fall afternoon, not so certain about that. Imagine what would have been if it had been peach. 
maybe an apple. And then think about if you maybe put a little drizzle on top of something that would add to the fall flavor. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm probably right. going to go with a six. Hard for me to ever not like a dessert. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right, so I think that brings us to our next break. Moving to the next break. Yeah. So we'll, we'll take a break here, and uh, we'll be back with our next uh, sample. I pre-planned my funeral to make it easier on my family. They were relieved to know I'll get just what I want. My family actually thanked me for taking matters into my own hands. Turns out having this awkward conversation wasn't awkward at all. Pre-planning is my choice. There are certain things about me my family may not know. Now they won't need to guess. The choices are yours. The peace of mind is theirs. Pre-plan your funeral with Brown Funeral Homes and everything will be taken care of. Find out more online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. Welcome back. It looks like we have a drink and some sweet dessert to judge today. So, Jim, would you like to, let's start with the donuts. And I guess we're going to need to cut those yep. in thirds. So yeah. we have decimals and fractions. <laughs> All right. How's that cutting through? Is it moist? It's very moist. Yeah. Very tender. All right, grab your fork over there. Where's your All fork, right, Donna? I got it. Mm. There you go. Oops. I'm pretty excited about this one. Me too. Uh, anything sweet? That one's not cut. Oh, here. <laughs> Sorry. Nice job, Donna. There we go. Now she she gets you. Donna's going with the big bite. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that go one ahead, looks like us. it has. Oh, I'm cutting. Oh, somebody is. tell us what they're uh, what oh. they're eating. So, initially, um, it's got some cinnamony kind of smell to it. It's got a, a little icing on it. Definitely a, a fall smell. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's definitely a good choice. Almost uh, kind of a cinnamon. Oh my goodness, that is so it's, moist. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Not falling apart moist, but texture got a good texture that to it. That is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good donut. Yeah. Okay. It's very good. Let me Next try. Next piece. They all. They all. This one. Yeah, Don always goes for the big bite. You she notice does. that? She does. I see that. Good for her. Was that a different one or? Is it's a different all, one. All same. There we go. Nope, it's all the same. Okay. We got some, maybe some chocolate on that. There you go. I'm going to go for the big one. I, I did try to cut that, believe it or <laughs> not. Okay. All right, so we're, we're looking at like some chocolate. Mm -hmm. So that looks like Oreo cookies, perhaps on the top. Tell. I was, the donut cakey piece, the same, and maybe they just added the topping on it. Yeah, it could be. Could it's be. Very similar flavor. The donut has kind of, donut has kind of like a cake texture to it, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would right. definitely score the donut as a dessert. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, and I, I I'm probably going to go all the way up mm. to a, a, an eight point two five on that. I think. Okay, that's good. Um, not not too sweet. I don't want it to be cloying. Yeah. But it did have sweet. I did like the flavor selection. I did like the way that um, it did have a fall feel to it. Yeah. Yes. So I definitely would score that very high. Mm -hmm. Yep, I liked the. Um, the, the toppings and the icing that they put on it. Uh, what I like about it, it wasn't like super thick with mm -hmm. icing and then topping, which takes away from the yeah. actual donut itself. Right. Good point. So I am going to give that an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. And I'll go with a, an eight as well. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Next category would be uh, food presentation. Uh, so, you know, they, they give it to you in a little... Oh, uh, and a nice clear oyster. container. Oh, yeah, so you can kind of see through. Um, and like I, you know, refer back to the toppings. Um, it, it looked up, up appetizing. Yeah, scale of one yeah. to five, I'm going four. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll yeah I'm going to do a four as well because a lot of times you get desserts in clear containers like that. And they have so much abundance of toppings yeah. and icing and, and so forth that it actually sticks to the lid. Right. And it, it takes away from the actual presentation mm -hmm. itself. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Next is best flavor combo. I'm going on a scale of 1 to 10 with a 7. I think the flavors matched. I think that yeah. that was a good pairing. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll go 7.5. I agree with Jim. I, think. I agree with you as well. I, I, you know, like you said, on a, uh, it works for fall. Um, the cinnamon kind of apple-y flavor it had um, yes. was, it works for this time of year. All right. Yeah, so are we, gonna, are we looking at best use of ingredient? Uh, yeah. I believe so, yes. Yeah. Because... Yeah. Again, mm -hmm. we go back to right. the original of proportion. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the sweetness wasn't overpowering. Yep. Uh, it was just the right amount of uh, amount of sweet. 
that wasn't kind of sickening sweet. You didn't feel like you had to take a drink and kind of clean your palate. Absolutely. Yes. yes. I agree. I'd say eight. Mm -hmm. I'm going with eight. Yep. Scale of one to ten. I'll give it a. I'll give it an eight point five. Yeah, That's I'm going to do the 8.5 yeah. as well. Very good. Yeah. So we finished the donuts. We're going to move on to the drink. This is a new category just added, I believe. Yep. All right. All Let's right. Take our give it a swish. Mmm. That's very good. I have to say that's a lot sweeter than the donut was. Yes. It so is a lot sweeter mm -hmm. than the, the donut. Drink's sweeter yeah. than the donut. <laughs> All right. So we're only doing, we're only evaluating this as a drink, not presentation. So not a dessert. Not that a dessert. Is, I mean, you could, as sweet as it is, you could almost say, you could skip the dessert and drink and have the drink. It's okay. that sweet. But it's not to the point where it's sickening mm -mm. sweet by any means. It's a good sweetness. It has a fruity flavor. Yes. Very refreshing. Mm -hmm. Put my finger on it. Maybe grapefruity, maybe. Well, it's a blend. It is, yeah. Almost like the it's berry. got a... At the yeah. berry. I was going to say berry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. This is something that would be really good by the pool, refreshing. Right. So how are we doing it? Scale of 1 to 10? Uh, I think we should do drinks 1 to 5. 1 to 5, says Kresha. Okay. Very one good. 1 to 5. I'm, I'm uh, going to go with a 4 Well, on the drink. It, it's a little sweet. It's good. Just a little sweet. I'm going to go for a 3 and a half. Yeah, I'm three, going 3.75. Three, yeah. I, I, I think that there, it, it has to me a taste that resembles sweet and low. Oh. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. I just I, I feel like there's an artificial sweetener mm -hmm. in it, mm -hmm. which is not terrible. I, I think it's very good. I agree. I think it's perfect mm -hmm. by the pool. It's, yeah. a, it's a very good drink. Mm -hmm. it very is refreshing. refreshing. Absolutely. Yeah. But it, again, it's not, we keep talking about the sweetness. I don't want anybody to think no, no. that it's like a really bad sweetness mm -hmm. or overwhelming. No. But uh, to me, it would be close to sweetness as far as a dessert instead of overbearing sweetness. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. That's good. So I think at this point, we are going to clear our table here and get ready for our next break. And we'll see you back here shortly. Welcome back. Now we have some comfort food, uh, is what I would call this. It's a nice brisket sandwich, green beans, my favorite mushrooms, not yours so much, Donna, <laughs> and some mac and cheese. You know, I would have to say this is, uh, just from looking at the overall presentation and what we have here, it is what you would think of when you think of what you're getting at a food truck Absolutely. Uh, show uh, or an event. You know, it looks like we've got some you know, looks your, like your Jim is enjoying it. <laughs> he is <laughs> digging in. Yeah, yeah. So you've got. Your, it looks like brisket here. Um, the bun is uh, almost looks like a potato roll. Uh, so it's not falling apart, which and is it's, excellent. And it's not. The bun is not soggy at right. all. Exactly. So right. you know that there's not like a whole bunch of grease that's mm -hmm. gonna be dripping out. Yep. You got uh, some mac and cheese. I'm gonna try the green beans oh. because green beans is one thing that no matter where you go, they're seasoned differently. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're just like salt and pepper, right? a little bit of butter. Other places you get some bacon or some country ham mm -hmm. or some sort of great right. flavoring. Yeah. So let's see what these green beans are like. Yeah, very good mouthfeel to the brisket. Cooked very well. Uh, very tender. The mushrooms to me were cooked perfectly. And I think it's very easy to get them to be mushy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Green yep. beans were good. Also, yep. I think the got green beans to me taste smoked. Yeah, that's mm. what I was going to say. They very have good. a smoky flavor. My initial... Um, flavor that I pulled out was definitely some smoke. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they're seasoned well. Maybe it's a little bit of the brisket uh, drippings, drippings mm -hmm. perhaps. Yeah. Yep. The mac and cheese uh, has a good texture to it. It's uh, nice and thick and cheesy. The mushrooms are good. I know you don't like them, <laughs> but uh, the mushrooms are very good. So we're ready to start judging. We're going to call the presentation well, first. Well, I haven't tried my mac and cheese because you jumped right in there while we were. <laughs> well, presentation doesn't have to do anything to do with mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? I do like mm -hmm. it. Good. Yeah, it's very good. Okay. Oh. 
Go ahead, Jim. Why well, try my sandwich? Well, uh, the pr the presentation is what it is. I mean, I thought that it was well presented. Mm -hmm. I thought the portions were a good size. The vessel was the right vessel to keep your food compartmentalized. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I I would say a four for presentation. Yeah. I'm gonna. I thought it was delicious. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know that what you could do better uh, to to as far as from a, a presentation standpoint. So. Uh, I'll give it a 4.25. Very good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to agree with you mm -hmm. both. Uh, I'm going to do a, a four and a half cool. okay. on the Very presentation. Good. Good stuff. Good. We've got uh, best flavor combo. So, like I said earlier, I think when you think of a food truck, uh, you're you're going you're these these three menu items. Uh, pair very well together, all of them. So as far as uh, the, the mac and cheese, green beans, and the brisket sandwich together, uh, I think it was right on point. So I'm going to give it an 8. Yeah, I'd go a little bit higher. I'd go 8.5. Oh. I, 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 I feel like the flavors work together. I think you even mentioned a little bit about there may have even been brisket flavor that mm -hmm. had been added to the other ingredients. There was bacon in with uh, Which incorporates the, the flavors for the overall combo. Absolutely. I, I agree. Yeah. I'm doing an 8.5. Yeah. Yep, did the same. Yeah. Good. Can we move on to best side? Um, like like I said earlier, I have to keep, you know, on the same path I, w I was. Uh, my, my thought process is these these sides work so well with the brisket. Um, it's. I mean, I don't know. I mean, only other sides that you could actually use with something like this, in my opinion, I would add uh, some coleslaw. Oh, oh good maybe. call. Yeah. To put on the brisket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good call. Yeah. But, uh, but overall, I, I believe that the sides were a good choice. Yeah. Yep. I'm giving it a 9. Oh, very yeah, good. I very would 8.5. Yep. I'm going to go 8. Very good. Right. And then b best use of ingredient? Well, I'll go back to the green beans especially because, like Kresha said, everyone seasons those a little bit differently. Yes. And uh, I thought that um, where, you know, if you ask my family, I'm not always a huge uh, fan of the smoke flavor uh, and chipotle kind of flavors. But this was done well. And it's not I an overpowering right. smoke it's flavor. It's, yep. it's more of a subtle back end. Yep. It complements the complements brisket. Complements the brisket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I'll give that one uh, also an 8.5. I'm going to go 8. I'm going to go 9. <laughs> All right. So okay. we are going to move on to our next. We're taking a break. Yep. We're going to take a break and get our next sample. If you're in an accident, the first thing that you have to do is call 911. You have to get medical care immediately. The next thing you need to do is call us. When you hire us at the Skinner Law Firm, what we do is we are going to investigate your case. And we're going to lay out the options that you have, all at no cost to you. We will use all of our resources and all of our experience to get you what you deserve. That's what we mean by treating you like family. Welcome back. It looks like we have my favorite pickles, and it looks like we have three different types of pickles here. Yeah. So, who That's wants to go right. first with the pickles? I Come on, get some pickles. One. All right, pickle number one. Looks like we've got maybe one, two, three, four different flavors. I'm just going to grab it with my finger here. Oh, so we're doing different pickles at the same time. Oh, oh I see. Oh, that one's got some heat. This one has heat. Absolutely, so, Okay, yeah. so this is the one I'm going for. It's got some spice. That's got a kick. Woo. This one here is just like a regular, everyday dill mm -hmm. pickle. This has got some, some jalapeno, I think, or habanero. It's a habanero, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's try the heat. Wait, Jim, you just put that whole thing in your mouth. South <laughs> Beach, bring in the heat. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. The crunch. Oh, it's got a nice crunch. That does have a good heat. Mm -hmm. You like spicy things, Don? I do. I love Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a spicy meatball. Yeah. That's <laughs> a spicy meatball. That is delicious. All right, Jim, let's try this one. we got to catch up to Donna. I I would add the spicy one I mean, to my brisket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. What Put was the that? spicy one on the Put brisket. Put the spicy one oh, on the yeah. brisket. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. It's almost a bre bread and butter type flavor. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Which that's is funny because I thought the, th the next one, the Kresha is on, Looks I thought this would be a bread and this butter. This is, uh, to me, a, a bread and butter. Okay. But this one, but the, the, the second one was a, had a sweeter 
profile, or is it just because we're getting it after the pepper? Uh, That's maybe. a good call. Mm -hmm. Which one have I not tried? This one here? Nope, yep. right here, third mm -hmm. one. This one. Yep. All right, Jim. Yeah, this is pure bread and butter. Okay, definitely a lot sweeter. All right. Mm-hmm. This one has heat. All right. And now number four. All right. All right. Gonna eat that pickle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so best presentation. So I guess nice. if you are ordering, per se, a, a pickle platter or ordering some pickles, it was nice that they were divided on a on a plate mm -hmm. like this to where the juices weren't all running together. Mm -hmm. So this one, that last one, initially I tasted some sweetness, and then bam. Punch it you. comes in with that hot. Hit That's right what in the I gullet. thought, yes. Right in the gullet. Yeah. Delicious. Woo! Presentation, I'm going with three on a scale of one to five. I'm not right. sure how much. You know, there could be a garnish, I guess. There could right. be something else that you could add to it. I'm going to go 2.5. 2.5, good. DS. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm still recovering from that heat. <laughs> I'm going to have the hiccups. That means it's got great heat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, presentation, like like Jim said, I'm not sure what else you can do with pickles. So I'll give it also a three. <laughs> best flavor combo. So would we judge this as a best flavor combo as the different varieties that we had? I agree with you. I yeah. think yeah. that's how we should. Right. <coughs> that's how we're going to judge this one yeah. from the varieties. Yeah, scale yeah. of one to ten. Because when you had the sweet... I don't know that I could have eaten both of the hot ones without the sweet. Mm -hmm. Right, because it, it helps cut that heat a little bit. Right, yeah. you almost need the combo because yeah. I don't know how you sit and eat four or five of those. You have a hiccup like Donna. I've got definitely <laughs> Donna. hiccups. Yeah. Well, did anybody know the Heimlich just in case? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah so I, I'm probably going flavor. with a seven on that. Yeah, flavor combo, I think they did a, I think a, I'm gonna a great do a, job a, of the variations. You've got to have yeah. some variety because... You know, not everyone's going to be able to handle that heat. And I love pickles of all flavors. And yeah. I don't think that I could actually sit and just eat one type of pickle yeah. throughout whatever I'm, I'm eating it with. Mm -hmm. I like the variety of, like you said, you yeah. know, you have the heat and you're like, oh, man, that's really good. But let me have a bread and butter and compliment, mm -hmm. take that heat down a little bit. Right, and, and we should keep in mind, we should remind the viewers, we did not select these items. No, we did not. They chose what to provide us. Yeah. So when I think about, like, last time I went to Chili's, I'm not a big Chili's fan, but last time I went to Chili's, fried pickles were pretty good. Yeah. I would think that that's something that would be more mainstream that you might expect when you go to a restaurant. Right. Not criticizing the pickles. I think they're very good. It's just this would not be something that I would specifically order. You know what I mean? Unless it was with something else. Like maybe a, che a cheese platter, cheese yeah. and cracker oh, pickle, that's a very good something point. like yeah. that. I mean, but I have gone to festivals before and actually purchased pickles at at them and, and taken them home. And, you know, you just, whatever your you know meal you're making, you just add some, you know, right. eating them so here and there. So it's something you kind of take from, no. from a food truck. You'll get them in a little container with a lid on it. You take it home and, and, uh, and, and pair it with whatever you're having at home. Very good. Yes, yeah, very good. So best flavor combo, one out of ten. I think I'm going to give that a an eight and a half. I gave them an eight. I yeah. went seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is a side. <coughs> uh, so, right. uh, I mean, as far as best side, I don't know. It is a side. It, it is. is a side. So um, we'll go on to best use of ingredients, I think. When you're thinking about pickles, um, Crush, you would know a lot more than I would because you've made your own pickles <laughs> I before. I have made my own so pickles. So there's a process that goes uh, that's involved in making pickles. And... Uh, for what it's worth, I, I feel like the you know you start from a, a, a cucumber. So, and wait, I, that's what that was. <laughs> I'm eating vegetables. You're <laughs> eating vegetables and green yes. vegetables at that, Joe. Right. So I think they did a really good job of of uh, putting the spices and however long it takes to cure them. I don't know if that's the right word. All pickles I'm are for. different in yeah. the canning process. You can do pickles that you can eat within 24 hours. There's pickles that take a week or longer yeah. to cure it and get mm -hmm. the, the flavoring. Right. So I think they did a really good job of that. So I'm going to give them a nine. Yeah, for the record, I knew it was a cucumber. <laughs> I was just kidding. I also sure, agree. Sure, Jim. Well, when you think about it, when you think about it, it's just like the, the ice drink that we had. Right. When you think about a low-cost ingredient, a cucumber is a low-cost item in the produce aisle at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. So when you think about using one ingredient, a low-cost item, that you can elevate the flavor. Yeah. So I also am going to go with a nine. Yeah. But if you think about it, it's not really one ingredient. 
That's true. Yeah. Because I'm about best use of an ingredient being the cucumber. Well, again, you have the cucumbers your main. You can just eat a cucumber and all cucumbers, mm -hmm. well, not all cucumbers taste alike because you have your English yeah. and your regular. But use of ingredients, it also depends on the type of vinegar oh, that they use. Yeah. It's uh, the different spices, brining. the curing spices, yeah. brining it, um, how long it they they can over process it. Sure. And that gives you a limp uh, yeah, no, mushy a cucumber nice, and there is nice nothing, yeah. nothing limp about that. I mean, mm -hmm. you could probably hear it through our mics as we're chewing that it was definitely a crisp yeah. cucumber. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to take another break and we'll be right back. And we are from downtown Martinsburg at the second annual Food Truck Fest. See you soon. This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now you get on your phone, click want it, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a new or used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it, no questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back-and-forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Welcome back to Cooking with Crusho on the Road in downtown Martinsburg. We are lucky enough to have our very own, the mayor, Kevin Knowles with us as a guest ju judge here. Um, now his points are not gonna count, but his opinions do. And I'm gonna send you over to Jim here to ask you some questions about the festival. Welcome. Well, well, well thank you. So what do you think so far about the festival today, Mr. Well, mayor? Well, first of all, they said, you want my opinion? I don't get, points don't count. Well, my point is, is look at downtown. Look at the people that we're seeing down here for this second annual uh, truck festival. Uh, we had such a success last year, and even midway through the day here, you're seeing, I would say, double the crowd that we saw last wow. year. Wow, absolutely. So I have to agree with you. Yeah, the impact that this is going to make to the downtown and the city of Martinsburg is unbelievable. Right. Absolutely. Right. So this started out kind of, uh, the thought process um, evolved from out of the chili cook-off and uh, from Robbie Blair interview, uh, on his Facebook Live was talking about how, you know, we wanted to kind of uh, expand on that. So, and get people to Martinsburg in our city and downtown and the brick and mortar store. So, tell us a little bit about that. Well, I could tell you that uh, Main Street Martinsburg has done a wonderful job for years down here in the city of Martinsburg. The addition of um, Robbie Blair has just been phenomenal. It's bringing young blood, young thoughts into it. And we're seeing a, a, an abundance of people that have never stepped into our downtown area, never stepped in the city of Martinsburg, to come down here and see what we all have to offer. Right. Not only do they come down, do they come back. Yeah. Their perceptions are changing. They're being educated on how the city of Martinsburg is being run. We're seeing all kinds of things moving forward, not only in the downtown, but the whole city itself. Yeah, that's good stuff. Well, welcome to our show, Kevin. And it looks like you have already tasted some of the funnel <laughs> cake in <laughs> front of us here. Try it again. Yeah, wait till he takes a bite and ask him if he likes it. <laughs> No, that's how it's done, guys. Right, exactly. You see that? Yeah. We are doing this all wrong. That's right. You, you really got to get into it, you know? Okay, so what do you think about the... Uh, it's fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Now, if my wife sees this on the air, I'm going to pay for it. So the points are going to cost cost me back at the house, not here. I'm sure Dana will give you a little bit of a lead way here yeah. just yes. for the segment. Special dispensation for the segment. Yes. Get, a, kitchen, a kitchen pass, if yeah. you will. I get a pass. <laughs> but you guys, I get a pass every time. Oh, you're so sweet. Well, I like it. Clearly, it fits the category of best right. dessert. I, I mean, I'd probably go with an 8.5, maybe even a 9 on this. Oh, this is dessert? Oh, yeah. This isn't a main this, course? Oh, you tell me. I don't know. I just assumed it was <laughs> yeah. a dessert. Yeah, you can't beat a funnel cake. Oh, man, it's delicious. Yeah, when you've yeah. got cake in the title. Mm. My goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The crunch. Mm-hmm. The sweetness. Yeah. And, and you know what? You, it, it lasts forever because it sticks to your fingers. Yeah. Absolutely. Finger looking good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not greasy. No. No, good you point. You know, sometimes, like, like, look at the plate. The plate here that the mayor has. Obviously, you're going to have a little bit of grease because it's coming out of a deep fryer, but 
look at that. That's not saturated. Sometimes, right. you know, you go to fairs and things like that, mm -hmm. and the whole bottom of the plate is just sopping with grease. Right. I have yeah. to say that they did a very good job with draining. draining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not too much confectionery sugar on the top. It's just enough. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree. Yep. Like very said, good. I, I love the crunch. Go back to the crunch. Um, How many uh, desserts do they have in this category? Do we know? We do not. We are doing this blindly. Yeah. This is blind. Yeah. We don't know who any anything's being brought to us. Not an order. <laughs> This is number seven, food number seven. Well, yeah. I think the bees give it a ten. Yeah, oh, I believe so. I was like going to say, the, the bees have, have come to uh, sample the sugar. <laughs> I think I'm going to give this a nine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go all out with a nine. Very good. Due, due to the point that, you know, there's not a lot of grease on the plate. It has mm -hmm. a good flavor. It's crunchy, not too much sugar. So I'm going with a nine. Very good. Yeah, I mean... You, you think about funnel cakes and um, and, and and what they are, and it, and this one I, I would I would agree I would I would give it I don't I don't know that you can other than adding other toppings which I'm sure that they have uh, toppings I, you know you put strawberries, strawberries blueberries cherries, peaches yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so but but this was delicious I'll give it nine point five wow very good mm -hmm. yeah make sure you check out these donuts down there they got some great donuts down there good yeah. very good. Mm -hmm. Uh, best use of ingredients. We'll skip over to that one. Um, like Kresha said, it was drained very well, and um, enough enough on it, enough enough I guess grease so to speak to hold on to the sugar. It wasn't yes. falling off everywhere, and we've got a little bit here on the table and on the plate, but but um, I'm not wearing it, no, which you're I not. thought I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with an eight. Yeah. Yeah, very good. I'll go with an yeah. eight as well. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll give it an eight point five. Uh, with the decimals. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Flavor combo. I mean, you, how can you go wrong with some confectionery sugar and cake? Exactly. <laughs> you can't beat that. So best flavor combo. I'm going to go cake. seven. Yeah. Because yeah. there's other, obviously, there's other things that, you know, they could put on there. So right. I'm going to go with a seven on yeah, that. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. go with seven. Yeah. Seven, seven, seven point two five. Presentation. My, my one out. Goal. One out of five on the presentation. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the four and a half. Wow. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go with the four. I'm going with four as well. Yeah. All right. What are you thinking, Mayor? Is it the best dessert you've had in the last five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. If you notice, I took the plate and I folded it in half. And, and My I goodness, Mayor, you finished the whole thing. I swallowed the whole sugar. <laughs> what is it? You just licked the plate. I guess. I guess your feeling is if Dana is watching this. You might as well, might as well go, go, go big go home. or go home, yeah. correct? Well, I'm not going home, <laughs> so I'm going big. <laughs> thank you very much, Mayor, for being with us, and we appreciate everything that you do for Downtown Martin. Yes, thank you. thank you. Thank you, and I appreciate everything uh, WRNR and Channel uh, TV 10 does for the community, so thank you very much. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you. And on that note, we'll be... You've been in an accident. Why won't the insurance company pay? Because they're trying to save money at your expense. Call Mansion Ferretti for your free consultation. We have the experience to deal with the insurance company and get you the compensation you deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Hey, welcome back here to Main Street Martinsburg. We're at the Four State Food Truck Festival. I'm here with Robbie Blair. Robbie, why don't you tell us who's sitting here at the table? So, uh, well, first of all, we have, everybody's been watching Jim Klein, the head of the Apple Drop, which is coming <laughs> around the corner uh, with Shepherd University. But today, we're so excited. We have our newest team member, Raven, here, uh, who's been just the queen of events, as I've been saying, uh, and our presenting sponsor. And uh, how long have you been on the board, Michelle? It's it's been a long time. Yeah. I'm Michelle. not sure I'm comfortable telling you. <laughs> and we're not letting her leave. Yeah, <laughs> Michelle is uh, not only a board member, but just an integral part of everything that happens at Main Street Martinsburg. So Michelle with Advocate Insurance Group, the presenting sponsors of uh, the Four State Food Truck Fest, and uh, she is here repping them, also repping Main Street as a board member. So. Yeah. So, so, Michelle, what, what made you decide that Advocate Insurance was going to be a presenting sponsor? 
Well, we have been supporting what Main Street has been doing for many years, like Robbie mentioned. And it's really important for us being downtown, having our office right on Queen Street. It's really important for us to be involved in everything that's going on. And we're really excited to have so many people out here today enjoying the gorgeous weather and our beautiful downtown. And um, so, yeah, why would we not want to be a part of that? That's fantastic. So, Raven, what's it like working for Main Street Martinsburg? Oh, well, I mean, this is my first event, so I was super excited to see all of our work come together. I know just honestly, as we were walking down here to do this interview, I think all three of us got cold chills as we looked around and saw all of the people around. And, you know, it's only, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's 1 o'clock. But uh, I'm sure <laughs> that there's probably a couple of thousand people here. Um, so, so far, it's really my favorite part is just to see it all come to life, really. Very good. So what do you think so far, Robbie? For me, you know, I, I look around and I see all these people here and it just feels natural to see this many people enjoying our downtown, enjoying, uh, you know, not only the awesome food trucks that are here, um, but I see so many people popping into our brick and mortar stores. I see so many people checking out uh, the beautiful architecture that we have down here. So um, my takeaway so far has just been great. This is this is exactly what Martinsburg needs. And um, I'm, I'm glad people came out. You know, um, we we did minimal marketing of this event and i think after one year of doing it it just shows that people want an excuse to come downtown Absolutely. people want an excuse to come to the heart we say the heartbeat of our community is main street martinsburg and uh you know without main street without our downtown we're just a bunch of interstate exits uh on 81 so uh, i really am, am glad that people are embracing it uh, i see people from all different age demographics uh and I'm, I'm sure I'll see different license plates, too. So that's uh. that's the goal, to bring some tourism in, partner with those guys at the CVB. And, uh, you know, it's a great day. It's beautiful it weather. Is. I we don't know how you do it. Better day. Yeah, how do you do every, every Main Street event, you dial up, man. That's You're what somebody in the asked Robbie if he had a, a horseshoe in his back pocket. <laughs> oh, <they're in> something, <laughs> man. It is a gorgeous day to be at downtown Martinsburg. A lot of people. Do you have an estimate on the number of people that attended last year and what you might be expect this year? So... The algorithm or the the number that we we put together you know we take what our facebook page says of who's interested in coming or is going um and then we say that's probably only a quarter of the right. people that come down so last year we had one 1.2 people on facebook say that they were coming uh, or interested in coming and we estimated that was closer to 5,000 people uh, made it down for last year's food truck fest so uh, for this one we have 7.6 people 7.6 thousand people, excuse me, mark that they're coming. Yes. So we're expecting Interested well over 10,000 yes. people today. That's outstanding. Um, you know, Chambersburg has a food truck fest tomorrow right up the road. Uh, I just think that if you're on 81, this is a this is a great spot today. And I think people have, you know, marked their calendar for this event. Well, Main Street Martinsburg has done a fantastic job. The four, uh, the, the four state four, uh, food truck food festival. My goodness, that's hard to say. It is. Yeah, it's, but it, it's a great <laughs> job. You've done a great job. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you it's for our having pleasure. us. Thank you. Glad the TV10 can make it out here. And uh, go you know, Rams. we always love partnering everybody. <laughs> yeah, go, go Rams. Rams. Go Rams. 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 <laughs> cool. I pre-planned my funeral to make it easier on my family. They were relieved to know I'll get just what I want. My family actually thanked me for taking matters into my own hands. Turns out having this awkward conversation wasn't awkward at all. Pre-planning is my choice. There are certain things about me my family may not know. Now they won't need to guess. The choices are yours. The peace of mind is theirs. Pre-plan your funeral with Brown Funeral Homes and everything will be taken care of. Find out more online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. Welcome back to Cooking with Prussia. It looks like that we have some uh, European food. We have some pierogies with uh, some, what's that, carrots and Brussels sprouts and cauliflower mm -hmm. all roasted together there. And for those of you who don't know what a pierogi is, let me get that out. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> it's a, uh, a filled, unleavened dumpling, usually with a savory filling that goes inside you wouldn't necessarily put something sweet inside of a pierogi mm. uh, it comes from the southeastern part of Europe and they're normally uh, stuffed boiled and then like a fry put on them All right. uh, you guys have already dug in while I was talking so we'll start with uh, Donna what do you think um I think it has a good flavor uh, they've seasoned 
they've seasoned it well. They've got a, a sauce on top of it that I think pairs really well with it. Um, so I didn't try the, the sauce. Is that like a tzatziki sauce yeah. or yeah. is that mm-hmm. what it is? Yep. Yep. Let's try this. And we made the tzatziki sauce on cooking we did. with Crash Up. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was a fun episode. Mm. I'm trying to identify what the filling is in the pierogi right now. Is it right a potato? Now. Is it? Maybe like mashed potatoes, maybe? I can't. Well, let's see here. It's kind of what it looks like. But it's definitely got some seasoning in it. I don't know. I'm going to deconstruct mine here yep. for a second. Um, yeah, it looks like potatoes. Is that cabbage? Mm. It's good. Very good. It was a very good flavor. I haven't tasted mine yet. Was that was that cabbage? Yeah, I think so. Of it? Mm. All right. Put mine back together and try it now that I've deconstructed it, yes. trying to find out what was inside. Yes. Food forensics. Mm. Look, I'm going to go ahead mm. and say that the, the use of the different ingredients in this particular dish is spot on with... You know, when you think about a pierogi, you know, mm-hmm. what, how can you dress that up? Right. Um, the sides that they've paired with it, like I and said, I, are I are like just the way on. that they use the skewers mm-hmm. for a presentation. Right. right. Because it wasn't just only the pierogi on here. It was the sausage drizzled with the mm-hmm. tzatziki sauce. And then it was placed over a bed of roasted vegetables, mm-hmm. yeah. which I think that is a phenomenal presentation in my opinion mm-hmm. good, very good good we've got a so we're starting with food present mm-hmm. presentation it was beautiful so on a scale of one to five i'm giving it a five four and a half yeah i'm gonna go with four and a half mm-hmm. i agree i thought i did think it was a beautiful presentation mm-hmm. flavor combo so many flavors yeah and when you do a whole lot of different vegetables and ingredients like that excuse me sometimes it gets overwhelming Mm -hmm. but with the way this was all incorporated i think all of the vegetables complemented the pierogies and the sausage so the vegetables with the protein Mm -hmm. in my opinion i think all the flavors married very well together yeah good yeah i'd concur with that i'm giving it a i'm giving it a nine this I'm going to give it a good. nine and a half. I'm going 8.5. Very good. Good stuff. <clears throat> we'll go back to this best side. So I, I, I'm, I'm going that the main, ingre- the main ingredient here, the main uh, entree, so to speak, is the pierogi and the protein. Correct. So I would say the side is those roasted vegetables. And every single one of them, like you said, paired you know, well together. Um, from the Brussels sprouts to the cauliflower, the little scallions sprinkled on top, and then the, the drizzle of the, of the I can't say it properly, but the tzatziki, tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was spot on. So. And just uh, to show you here the carrots, look at this. It'd be nice if I had a knife on me, but just with the fork. Yeah, no, plastic you fork. See, you see mm-hmm. that it's it's not yeah, mushy right. whatsoever. Mm-mm. But a lot of times through. when you get meals like this, mm-hmm. the vegetables tend to always yep. get overcooked. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that is a, a pet peeve of mine because mm-hmm. growing up in an Italian household, everything was al dente. Yep. So to have vegetables with this that, you know, are not mushy, they have, you can pick them up with your fork. They're not falling off and it's not yeah. baby food. Right. So, yeah. you know, I, I think that's a phenomenal Yeah, they use. did a... A very good job. I mean, you're thinking what limitations you have in a food truck kitchen to be able to prepare things like this and to be able to, uh, like you said, prepare it in a way that is palatable. And uh, here's, a, here's a another good job. thing about to think about when you're visiting a food truck. Where you're working in a kitchen, a restaurant kitchen, a home kitchen, whatever, and you're having people over. It's easy to cook the food, serve it instantly, and everything is, is perfect. Mm-hmm. Food trucks, on the other hand, a lot of them come from a restaurant. They use the food truck to outsource their restaurant. Mm-hmm. And when you're transporting certain foods and vegetables, a lot of times you will get the overcooked carrots. You will get the meat that came from the restaurant as the perfect, let's say, medium rare. But by the time it gets to a certain place, 
it could be overcooked. But it looks like from so far, you know, that the eight trucks that we have tried here today, they are all on point. Right. Every single one of them have been on point with the presentation and the quality yeah. of their their protein, sure. the quality of their vegetables. Mm -hmm. Uh, they didn't skimp for sure. They did not they didn't, skimp. They didn't spare any any expense with what you know what they've put together so far. So I'd I say eight point five. I, I'm going right there with you, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. And then our final category: best use of ingredient. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, the the ingredients that they chose to put together for this dish, um, you know, was was like I said, spot on. Yep, I'm going nine. Yeah. I'm yep. going nine as I'm well. It, it complimented mm -hmm. everything was yep. was a perfect marriage. Yep. This good. whole meal was a perfect marriage in yep. my opinion. Yeah, I would 100% agree. We'll be right back yep. with our next uh, food truck sampling. Insurance companies like to play games. They say they're on your side, but they aren't. We have a team that can handle any curveball they throw. At Burke, Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson, you get a dedicated lawyer, and every case gets a team effort. So you get nearly 150 combined years of experience going to bat for you. And we like to win. Join the team that takes your personal injury case seriously. Burke, Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson. We play hardball. Welcome back. Now it looks like we're moving to a different era, and we have some tacos, Brussels sprouts, and a burger. So it's like a combo from all over the world, like around the world plate. Yeah, you can't. I, for me, I like. I'm a protein guy, so a double protein uh, ingredient or a double protein serving for me, like this is a good deal. Yeah, I'm gonna try the sauce on the Brussels sprouts first. That is really good. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to work out. It's like a cheese. A little bit of a spicy cheese sauce. Yeah. The Brussels yeah. sprouts are cooked well. Mm -hmm. It's not mushy. The taco. It's not burnt. Nope. Nope. The Brussels sprouts were, were yummy. <laughs> so the taco has um, what it looks like, maybe some shredded pork, some slaw, and some pico, or salsa, and a little bit of a, of a sauce. It has a really good flavor. The coleslaw is really good. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's another one of my bougie when it comes to coleslaw. Sometimes you get it and it doesn't have the right acidity. So it's basically just like mm. the cabbage, carrots, mm -hmm. salt, pepper type thing. This actually has, I think, a really good acidity yeah. to the it, coleslaw. Mm -hmm. And then the sauce on top of the coleslaw really complements that as well. Right. That's what I was just going to say. It complements the, the, it nicely. Yeah. The meat inside of the taco is very moist. Cooked it, well. It cooks very well. Mm -hmm. It's pulled apart nicely. It's not tough. The burger, oh. for me, tried. Little well. personally, is too overcooked. Yeah. Mm. Well, well done. Okay. Yep. Um, I like mine juicier, and in order normally to get that juiciness, it has to be not well done. Mm -hmm. So, for me, the burger is just way overcooked, okay. in my opinion. Yeah. I, I, would, I would probably second that, uh, for sure. Um, or maybe, maybe... The choice of burger was a little too lean, maybe. So it didn't have enough of the fat in it to render and keep it juicy. And like you said, it's tough to prepare Absolutely. Uh, in, a, in a food truck. but And when you're serving thousands of people. Yeah, absolutely. And you don't want people to get mm -hmm. upset because yeah. they're standing in your line for too long. Right. Burning so time. they're probably mm -hmm. are cooking the burgers. Mm -hmm. And... Some of them are probably not as well done. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not saying right. that this is how they always do their burgers. It, again, when mm -hmm. you're dealing with mass mm -hmm. people, yeah. you know, you could have that. Now, I'm sure if they're setting up outside of the IRS or someplace like that, and it's not such a bigger scale, that maybe the burgers sure. would be. So we'll start with food presentation. Yeah. Yeah. On a scale of one to five, I'm going to go with a four. Yeah. I'm going to go with a four. 
<clears throat> um, yep, I'll go with uh, 3.75. Not the 3.70. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Very good. No. Best flavor combo. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the taco. I honestly have never eaten slaw on a taco before. And really? I, nope, never. It's almost like a carnitas. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. no. Yep. So I thought it, that was that was very well um, paired together. The Brussels sprouts. Um, you know, it's a tough. That we were talking about this during the break. Mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts are hit or miss. You there's a certain way you have to prepare those um, in order to uh, for them to not come out too bitter. Yes. And I thought they were the sauce on the top uh, was was a nice compliment to the Brussels sprouts. And sometimes. You just get bad Brussels mm -hmm. sprouts. Sure. It has nothing to do with who is cooking it. Right. You and I could cook it. A food truck could cook it. The same ones. And Gordon Ramsay mm -hmm. could cook that same Brussels sprout. And it all depends on how that Brussels sprout is grown. Yeah. The soil, you know, how much mm -hmm. water, all yeah. of that all goes to the bitterness mm -hmm. and when it's picked. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if it's picked too early or picked too late, that yeah. all has something to do yeah. with the flavor. And Brussels sprouts are a vegetable that's very difficult to grow very, yes, very i tried <laughs> and very difficult to yes. get your family and your kids to eat oh, yeah. <laughs> it just depends on how much bacon you yeah, use yeah bacon yes, exactly bacon and shallots bacon and butter saves baby. everything <laughs> so where are we on yep. one to ten food food flavor, flavor combo. combo i'm gonna go with a 7.75 i think i'm gonna go with a six and the reason i'm going with a six is because of the burger, burger. Yeah, yeah i'm going seven Best side rating, Best one to side. ten. Um, so the side would be the Brussels sprout. Yeah. The sauce yeah. was, the cheese sauce was good. Mm -hmm. The Brussels sprouts <coughs> were very good. They weren't overcooked. Uh, I think the side goes very well with the taco. And mm -hmm. even if it was just served with the burger without the taco, sure. I think that's a great side to use. Uh, one to ten, I think I'm going to go with an eight. Yeah. yeah, I'll go with eight as well. Mm, I'm going to go with a seven. Best use of it, best use of ingredients. Um, if I'm if I'm going strictly on the taco, I thought it was very well put together. Um, and I think that's what we need to base this off mm -hmm. of is is the taco itself. Yeah. Because there's many ingredients in the taco. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, best use of ingredients with the taco, and like you said, with the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Uh, the sauce, the tenderness of the meat, the way it was prepared, put together, best use of that, I am going to go seven and a half. Yeah. I gave it an eight. Y'all go eight. Mm hmm All right. So that brings us to the end of this sample. We'll take a break and be back with the next sample. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons goal of financing for all, and Parsons famous above market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. Welcome back. Looks like we are back to our childhood, but on a upper notch of the childhood. Elevated. Mm -hmm. Elevated. That's the word I was looking for. So we're looking at some some grilled cheese with some, like you said. And by the way, these are two different mm -hmm. grilled cheeses. Yep, we've got one with some, looks like some cheese, bacon, and pickle. And then this one looks like pepper jack with some jalapenos and bacon. Right. And then some fries with a, what is that, like a honey barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. I like the season on the fries. Mm. A lot of times you just get like plain, regular french fries. I do like the season. I like the shoestring mm -hmm. french fries. Yeah, I imagine they would probably cook more quickly. Absolutely, cook yeah. more quickly, easier to burn and turn. Um, definitely good flavors. I like the heat in the sandwich. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the, the one without the peppers. I, I believe that's the one. It, it has uh, Have pepper, you tried the one with all the jalapenos yet? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have hiccups yet, Donna? Fantastic. I don't. Fantastic. I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we started with presentation. Mm. How might you score that on a scale of one to five? Well, 
the let's see how are we supposed I, I would go with the fact that it's crispy it's not at all soggy it's, you run the risk of that with like you said mass produced sandwiches um, quickly it's not overcooked um, so it's got a nice nice crunch to it uh, it's delicious I don't believe I've sampled this particular food truck in my in, in, in the past so I am excited I was excited to try it and it's delicious so I would say food presentation I'm gonna give it on a scale of one to five I'll give it a four I went four I'm going to give it a four and a half oh very good flavor combo Crescia mm. flavor combo I love spiciness and the jalapenos and the bacon and I must say the bacon is not super crispy and shriveled up mm -hmm. and burnt like when you bite into it just crumbles and right. you don't get it on the rest of your sandwich so to me that that's cooked perfectly mm -hmm. I would agree yep so uh, flavor combo, flavor <clears throat> combo that's one out of ten I'm gonna give it a seven and a half I'm going 8.5 yeah I was going eight I was going to eat. I thought they, they used um, their use of ingredients. And like you said, the, the way it was prepared, they, they did a really great job on that. So would you agree that the side is the French fries? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what, obviously. Yeah. Um, I, I thought the French fries were maybe a little overcooked. Oh, okay. Um, they had a really good flavor. And the sauce is has, has a really good flavor, too. Mm -hmm. It doesn't... It doesn't, uh, to me, have a flavor of, of something that you buy, again, off the shelf. So it, a homemade. it to me, is homemade. Yep. So that's a good flavor. So a little sweet, a little spicy. Yeah. Yep. It's very good. So I'm going to give them a seven. And we're doing the sides, correct? Side, best it's side. Best side. Yeah. So it's one out of ten. I think I'm going to go with a six. <laughs> Hey. I went hi. with a plain, plain eight. <laughs> Can you say hi? Can say, you say hi. 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 Wait, <laughs> I told you it was a kid it friendly was a meal. Kid friendly he, meal. Is he, that not yeah. appropriate or what? He's that. like, grilled cheese and french fries, Mimi. Yes, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> He's, he saw that grilled cheese and said, right on. Yes. <laughs> yep. All right, tell us about best use of ingredients. Best use of ingredients. I, I have never thought to put all these different combos on a grilled cheese. Right. You know, you grow up all your life, and a grilled cheese is just that, a grilled cheese. Now, I've had grilled cheeses with different types of cheese, mm -hmm. you know, from mozzarella to provolone to hot pepper cheese to the traditional Kobe Jack or American cheese. So, with the use of the cheese and then the bacon and jalapenos, Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm in awe. Yeah. Th this is like something that I would have never thought of. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the the, the, the particular, you know, size of bread with what, whatever they, you know, seasoned it with on the outside to, to, to fry yes. or, or it, cook it. Has, it. it has a nice height <clears throat> yeah. to the bread. It's not smashed down mm -hmm. and, and soggy in the middle and crusty right. on the outside. Yep. Yep. I'm going to go all out on this and I'm going to give them a 10. Wow, wow. that's ten. fantastic! Yeah, yikes! Yeah. That's a that's a great score. I scored them a nine. I went nine. Uh, yep. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. Good. Well, I think that we need to take a little break here and, and digest all this wonderful food, and yeah. we'll be right back with you. Yet. So let me try this here and see. That is tuna. Um, it's got plenty of mayonnaise in it. It's not dry. The bread is 
nice and fluffy. It's not stale. Nothing like that. Um, Jim? No, I think the, the bread was the right choice for the sandwich. Looks like it might have some relish. Mm-hmm. We'll pick a relish. Yeah. Donna, would you like yep. to deconstruct that for us? Sure. So, <clears throat> it looks like some, like, you know, the, the tuna's shredded and, and mixed up really well. It's not, it doesn't, it's not overly seasoned, so it right. doesn't have a lot of relish in it. So, um, you know, and, and, and you don't have big chunks yes. of, uh, you know, used to make tuna salad, um, for my family and you know I would actually literally cut up the pickles and, and make my own relish so right. um, and it's it's important to get the proportions of your you know the cut you know the, the size of your uh, pickles cut up just right so that you're not biting into big pieces of pickle or onion yeah so it looks it's like they did a good job a pickle sandwich it's supposed to have right. the chicken or tuna salad complemented by a little bit of relish exactly exactly um, so she did a good job of of uh, of incorporating that throughout the salad yeah i would agree i would uh, also mention that i don't like when it's over onionated mm -hmm. i just made that word up mm -hmm. I, I agree with you Jimism. i do not like uh, especially with raw onions. onions yeah exactly mm -hmm. oh, i agree 100 yes. yeah. yeah i I, thought, I find when you use too much raw onion it can overpower a dish mm -hmm. i do not believe that there's too much no not at all so yeah so okay. that's the the presentation Obviously, okay. it, it's a sandwich, so it, it's kind of hard to really judge a presentation. Um, I will say that it's not oozing out, per se. You mm -hmm. know, it's not too much on the bun. It's not right. It's not like it's skimping to where you're having just yeah. all bread. Mm -hmm. yep. So, in, in that, with that being said, I think uh, food presentation on that one out of five, I'm, I'm going to give it a two and a half. Yep, I'm going to give it a... I'll give it a I'll give it a two point seven five. Yeah. <laughs> Best flavor combo. <clears throat> well, like Jim said, it's not overpowering with any of. There's not one. There's not one ingredient that's standing out or overpowering the uh, the main ingredient, which would be the tuna. Um, so uh, flavor combo out of one out of a ten, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a five. I'm gonna go six. I don't. I, I don't mean to be critical, but I don't understand. I've never uh, like every time I've ever made tuna. I use a lettuce, uh, and I'm not a vegetable guy, but I would include something, whether or not it's celery. I have to agree with you, and, and maybe a slice of tomato to go with that as well. And I'm not um, sure if that could have gone in presentation or it goes in combo or where you put that. I chose to uh, acknowledge well, it I think here. Well, that, that would also, I think that could go both presentation because of the eye appeal. Anytime mm -hmm. that you're adding green or red right. to, to a dish, it's the eye enhancement. Mm -hmm. So Makes not sense. only do you have your flavor enhancement, you have your mm -hmm. eye enhancement as well. And then that also jumps over to the best flavor. You know, when you add lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, yeah. things like that, ingredients like that to a sandwich, that does increase the flavor mm -hmm. because then you're you're getting multiple tastes. Uh, for me, it was very good. I would prefer myself to have a little more of the relish. Okay. I like I like to put a little pickle juice in mine. Oh, good. And little pieces of pickle. And as Jim said, you know, lettuce and tomato. But overall, it was still a very good sandwich. So I, I'm going to give that a five. Okay. Yep. I will. I'll also give it a five. So I agree with everything that you said there. Jim? So side, are we going with side? Uh, I mean, we're there really isn't NA. a side so with that. So that's yeah. an NA. Mm -hmm. NA. Yep. So, so then we move into best use of ingredients. Yes, I think that's what we were commenting on. I gave it a five. Oh, I'm that. sorry. Yeah. I thought we were a flavor combo. <laughs> All right, so I, I, I went six. I'm going to do a five with both. Yes. I went six. Okay. With, with the best use of ingredients and the flavor combo, I'm going to do a five on both of those. Okay. Very good. We're good. That brings us to a quick break. We'll be back with our... This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a newer used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it, no questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back and forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, 
No dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Welcome back to downtown Martinsburg at the second annual food truck fest. We're a little giddy on all the food and sugar highs and the beer and the desserts and There's beer. Yes. Have you? What is this? Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> From the beer garden. It looks like we have. What is this? Like a Mediterranean dish. Is it Mediterranean or um, Greek? Jamaican or I don't know. Pupusa? Pupusa? I'm not sure. Mm, that pickled cabbage. Let's, I can't wait. Let's Here, try. Let's Let me help you out, Chris. Okay, let's just do this. Yeah. Let's see. All right. Go, Jim. Here's yours. My pancake. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that is hot. Wow, great job. Look at this. Smells I like it's pork, Jim. So that's to me, it smells like corn. Hmm. This is one dish I have to admit that I have never had. Really? No. All right. Nice. But it, it smells like. And the sauce almost looks like a hot. salsa. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. A little you bit on the side. You can smell it. It almost smells like cornbread. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. Crunch. It has. It has. I'm deconstructing here. It has a filling. I thought it was just like a flatbread. No, nope, it's got but no. This this got pork in it. This mm -hmm. definitely has, it has a pork. filling in it. Yeah, so this is almost yeah. like a, okay. it's a seasoned, pulled, or shredded, very got tender seasoning. Got very very tender. Good okay. flavor. I'm gonna try it first without the salsa. Right, let me try the bread. Hmm. That is something that I could eat all the time. It's definitely got a like a corn tortilla type flavor to the to the bread. Yes. Let's put some some of this salsa on there. Mm-hmm. It's really mm. good with the sauce on it. That cabbage is on point. Yeah. I have had this before. The cabbage. So I apologize because I've never had this this meal before so I, I'm wondering if the cabbage is a side mm -hmm. or is the cabbage something that you would put on top of this with the salsa and eat it like a taco no. oh wow I mean I'm sure it's probably a preference but um I think about that but I could I could eat it that way <laughs> I see a lot of people and I haven't tasted the, the salsa here let me taste the salsa yeah, people walking by yeah. saying hi to Honest Donna mm -hmm. Schaffner. She's a local celebrity. <laughs> that salsa has a great flavor mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, it can, yeah. And it, and it, it's definitely homemade. It's mm -hmm. not, a, oh, yes. not what you would call a jarred salsa. Every component of this whole, whole meal is definitely homemade. Nothing is, to me, seems like it's prepackaged. No, it's frozen, anything like that. It's definitely made on site for sure, or at least prepared by hand so let's um, go with a uh, best food presentation Jim what do you think well I think it was well presented I, I do believe that the the temperature was good it looked good vi visually appealing um, I'm gonna go with a uh, 4.5 actually I'm gonna go with a three and a half yeah one out of five I'm gonna give this one a four um. And then we move on to best flavor combo. Uh, I liked the flavor of the um, the filling. Yes. Inside of the corn uh, pocket, if you will. Uh, so I'll give that. See, we've got uh, best flavor combo one out of ten. The sauce I felt was uh, the sauce was very good. Mm -hmm. The uh, cabbage had a, a phenomenal flavor. Had to a good it. flavor. I think it might have been. Uh, able to be cooked a little bit longer. Uh, it was really? crunchy, but I like I, I like that crunchiness. Yeah, like the texture. Might just I like be the a, a preference, and you know, 
Yeah. So, so we're all, where are we? Best flavor I'm gonna combo. I'm going to give best flavor combo. I'm going to go 8.5. I go 8.5 as well. I'm going to go 8. Okay. I guess off the side, if we move on to that, like I said, for, probably a preference for myself. I would, would prefer it just to be cooked. Maybe. A, I don't want it mushy or slimy uh, as far as cabbage goes. Uh, overcooked, it kind of shrivels up. But could have been cooked maybe a little bit longer. Had a great flavor. Um so one out of ten on that one, I'm gonna give it a seven point five. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go eight point five as well. Best use of ingredient? I think it is uh, pretty nifty to fill mm -hmm. the bread like that. Because at first I thought it was just like kind of like a non bread or, or you know a flat bread mm -hmm. per se. But then when I started um, taking it apart you can see here that it's actually stuffed yeah and it's not yeah. too thick it's not like you're biting into a huge thick sandwich mm -hmm. um best use of ingredients one out of ten i think i'm gonna do a uh, seven yeah i'm gonna go 7.5 i'm gonna go 8.5 <laughs> i liked it i thought yeah. that was a very i thought good it was very good and very different now i'm gonna have to do some research mm -hmm and find out exactly what region this comes from yeah. and how it's made. And maybe perhaps find someone uh, from the food truck, whichever food truck this is from, maybe they can come on Cooking with Crusha yeah. and show, show us how to do it. Sounds yeah. good. All right, well, we'll be right back after these messages. You've been in an accident. Why won't the insurance company pay? Because they're trying to save money at your expense. Call Mansion Ferretti for your free consultation. We have the experience to deal with the insurance company and get you the compensation you deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Welcome back to downtown Martinsburg at the second annual Food Fest. To me, it looks like I haven't tasted this yet, but it looks like we have maybe a steak and cheese type sandwich. Well, that's what it looks like to me. Jim is jumping right in, so. Well, the blue cheese is different. I like blue cheese. So blue cheese crumbles, to me, bring a completely different element to a steak and cheese. Okay. So I don't mind that at all. So is the steak or is the slam? Or do we know? I'm going to go with the vegetarian. I believe it's a, uh, I believe it's a vegan sandwich. That's okay. definitely not steak. No. I'm, I'm going vegan. It's not a Dahmer. The meat is... Um, Can we say that on the air? <laughs> I don't well, think, you I, did. I, so. I, I, I don't think that this is meat. I don't think it's meat either. Mm -mm. No. No. And it's got... It does have what looks to be maybe provolone mm -hmm. on there as well. So with just a little bit of uh, blue cheese on it. Blue cheese crumbles, yep. And then some peppers and onions. <clears throat> so what do you think about the presentation? We start with the first judging category, scale of one to five. I have to say, on the presentation, a five. Yeah. Oh, you like the look. I like the yep. way it was on the pretty paper, the oh, way the sandwich was cut. We so did like that. Yeah. I mean, yep. I, I think mm -hmm. that was, like, right up there with a five. I'll go with four. Yep. I'm going to give it a four and a half. I thought it, I liked I liked the way they presented that as well. Outstanding, good. Mm -hmm. Best flavor combo. For me, I I have to be completely <laughs> honest here. I'm not a huge blue cheese person, so that takes away that aspect of it. And as far as the vegetarian part, I like steak. So uh, the flavor combo for me on that. I'm gonna have to say a three. I didn't. I didn't dislike the flavor. Um, I think sometimes we get in our heads <laughs> when we're we're thinking about foods before we even get to try them. I too am not a blue cheese fan, um, but I, my initial impression was I didn't hate it. I actually thought that the flavors that they turned. You gotta take sometimes when you're at, at events like this and you're trying. Um, trying new foods and things like that. You, you have to there's a certain risk factor that goes involved oh, in yes. what you are presenting and I think that they I think they took a risk putting the blue cheese on there and I I don't think it I think it was a success I I don't I don't uh, well blue cheese is a is a 
pungent, strong right. flavor. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm assuming with vegetarian type right. dishes, that helps to enhance absolutely the impossible. Yeah, I guess you would call the, the impossible meats, which is like veggie burger or or what mm-hmm. have you. Um, I don't have a whole lot of experience with vegetarian type foods, but as far as you know, putting the blue cheese, the, the grilled uh, onions, the cheese, the, the green peppers. Yeah. That is, I think, where the flavor is coming from mm-hmm. more than whatever they have used for the meat for the, substitute. For the protein substitute. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep, I would agree. I'm going to give the flavor combo a seven. I would seven. Best yep. side. No side here, right? No side. No side. N.A. No side. Best use of ingredient. Well, I, I think I'll go back to Crush's point of... When you're when you're um, trying to complement, when you're bring choosing a, a higher flavor, right? When you when you're choosing your base as a, a, a protein substitute, that's going to probably um, miss some of the flavor that you would normally have in the in a in a From steak a or a chicken Correct. or something like that. You've got to use ingredients um, that that best enhance those flavors, and I think they did a good job here. I think they did so as well. So a one out of ten, I'm also going to give them a seven on that. I'm going to give them a six on that. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with eight. Blue cheese, blue cheese gym. Blue cheese blue gym. Blue cheese gym. I do like blue cheese. Yeah. But the question is, if you went to the truck, you wouldn't order it. You wouldn't order. You don't like I blue cheese. Order, you don't no. like blue cheese, right? right? Right. I probably wouldn't order a steak and cheese with blue cheese anyway. Either, I would go with extra mozzarella, provolone, anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, but I, I still, I liked it. I thought that it was a good use of a different type of ingredient combination. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I think it's a phenomenal idea to have a, f- a food truck designated to those who do not like to eat meat right that are vegan that are vegan or, or vegetarian or, 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 or absolutely or whatever yeah and you know they deserve to have options sure. as well and i think that they did a phenomenal job with yeah. the presentation and to incorporate all the different flavors to make that uh protein vegetable protein that they're using mm-hmm. I, I think they did actually a pretty good job yeah okay. i would agree mm-hmm. okay all right we will be right back after this if you're in an accident, the first thing that you have to do is call 911. You have to get medical care immediately. The next thing you need to do is call us. When you hire us at the Skinner Law Firm, what we do is we are gonna investigate your case and we're gonna lay out the options that you have, all at no cost to you. We will use all of our resources and all of our experience to get you what you deserve. That's what we mean by treating you like family. Welcome back. We have moved into nachos. So I, I now feel like we're tailgating here with a good nacho and getting ready for a party. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with nachos and tailgating. And we've got Shepherd football and WVU football this afternoon. So we've already got Shepherd with the win. Very nice. Do you know the score? Mm, I believe it was 43-17. to 17. Is that... Sound right, Spencer, sports director, Shepherd game 43-17 win, I think. Anyway, let's, we'll get that update for you in just a sec. 47-14. I wow. Did. My wow. dyslexia with my wow. nose transposing there. You were just trying to be nice there, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought the nachos were presented yeah. nicely. Yes. Yes. Very clean. They're layered nicely, the chips, so that the topping is more evenly distributed throughout the, ch- the, the, the nachos themselves. Yeah. So it, it's not like, you know, when you're sharing a thing of nachos with somebody and you pick it up and it's like, don't take the mother load, you're taking the, all the mother cheese. Load. This right. has, it's completely incorporated throughout the chips. It's not right. like they just put a bunch of chips in the basket and then topped it. It looks to me as if they have layered it up some. Right, that's important. Uh, nachos, and then is it cucumbers that I smell? I, I spotted, spotted, and sm- I smelled the cucumbers right off the bat. Love cu- th- that they incorporated cucumbers in this. Um, not something you often see, but it that's a good. Cho- it was a good choice. I and think. it looks like there's protein in this. Mhm. I really like the cucumber. I do too. I was what a, a different mm-hmm. taste. That it gives fresh, like a fresh. Mm-hmm. Makes me feel like I'm eating healthy, even though I'm eating <laughs> a big pan of nachos with cheese. And right. as long as the cucumbers are on them, then get yourself some cucumbers, put it in your water, you're good to go. 
Well, I think mm. it's canned cheese. Okay. I do not get, I think that the money is in the topping. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that it is store-bought chips, which I don't have a problem with. But I think it's store-bought chips and canned cheese. And then where they're, what they're bringing to the table is an outstanding topping. Yes, so my, I agree with you. So my question would be, do you hold that against the vendor when they're using two of the main ingredients as pre-made ingredients? Not as far as the chips. Okay. Because it would be really hard to serve and make homemade chips. Well, okay. not, not only that, truck. but when you're thinking, too, about, how, A, how many people you're serving today um, and being able to keep your costs down and the, the, the cost to the patron as well. That if you, if you had homemade chips, I think that's going to increase the cost for yourself as well as your patron. Um, and so, yeah, I don't, I don't have a – and they're, and they're not they're, – they're crispy. They're they are, they are fresh. They're not mm -hmm. at all stale. Good call. So and they're not mushy from all the toppings Correct. either. Right. Like, right. Yeah. So food yeah. presentation. Um. All right. So we are food presentation one out of five. I'm gonna give it a four and a four and a, four point seven five because I thought they were beautifully presented. I'm going four. I'm going four and a half. Okay. Best flavor combo. I. I have to say I think it was the cucumber mm. that mm -hmm. is going to make me give the the score that I'm going to give on the best flavor and I'm going to go to eight and a half yeah I thought the cucumber was a really nice addition to <clears throat> you know just uh, to elevate the nachos to something diff you know something different that's what you want when you're coming to one of these food truck festivals is I want to try something different something I don't typically have and uh, I like I like the uh, type of chicken it was, it wasn't the typical shredded chicken. It was more of almost like a, it was kind of crumbled, uh, if you will. It was pulled apart. Uh, the cucumber on top was just right on. It's definitely not a uh, convenience store nachos. Right. Right. This is this is a high-end nacho, mm -hmm. and I would I would definitely order yeah. this. I'm going to give them an eight. So you think I'm it was canned chicken? I, I, I mean, canned cheese, bagged chips. I don't know. I, so it could be canned chicken. It could be. It could be. I think the chicken was roasted or and shredded, like you a think pulled it's shredded? pork. Okay. I don't know. Flavor combo for me, I'm going seven. Crusher? I went eight and a half. Eight and a half. And best use of ingredients. <laughs> Out of one to ten, I'm going to have to say a nine because, again, we're going back to that freshness of the, the cucumbers, the sauce, uh, the way it was layered, incorporated, everything. I, I'm... I think I'm going to give them a nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, call. yeah. Well, and for this one, with the best use of ingredients, I'll I'll go back to your previous previous statement of when you normally get nachos somewhere, they're going to just dump your nachos in your in your bowl there, and they're going to just toss everything on top. So you only you're only going to get those ingredients in your first, first few bites. bites of the nachos. And Whereas, if you're sharing them right. at the table, yeah, you know. Who gets the, the leftovers? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and who's getting who's getting the crumbs at the bottom? Absolutely. That have no, yes. Nothing on them. So I'm going to give them an eight, a point five on the use of the ingredients. I'm okay. going with seven. All right. <laughs> All well, right. I think that brings us to our next break, and we'll see you back here in just. to downtown Martinsburg's second annual food fest. This is a barbecue sundae, and no, Jim, it's not a dessert. <laughs> it has baked beans, mac and cheese, uh, what is that, chicken, maybe some pork. Pork, pork, pork maybe. It's, it's barbecue's take on a famous bowl. It is, uh, so far, delicious. It is delicious, and it, it came with two different barbecue sauces, a spicy and a sweet. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, the sweet is good, but that spicy is 
off the hot. I enjoyed that. I've tried the hot. I haven't tried the sweet yet. You, you don't think that the hot could be a... You don't think that the hot could be a little bit hotter? I think it could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, th- yeah. I, do, I think so, too. Well... I think you could add a little more spice to the to the hot sauce. They have a thin consistency. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe during the process, if it's, if I would imagine it's strained maybe. I, I know it's just very thin. I just wonder if you could add... It is, it is a little thin. I wonder if you could add some chunks to it to uh, increase the heat. Well, the bees certainly are The heat are is a back-end type of heat. Yeah. So the first bite, right. you're like, oh, I can feel it. That's, that's a little spicy. Yeah. And then as it continues down, it's like your palate's like, oh, wait. Hello. Well, there's some heat there. Mm-hmm. But I agree. I mean, but I like spicy, so kicking yeah. it up a notch with a little bit more spice would be good for me. Yep. Yep. Presentation. <coughs> this is fun. I, I think that the presentation was really cool. I've, I've seen, you know, seven dip, seven, seven bowl, layer, seven layer dips mm-hmm. and, and things of that nature. But to have it with the meat and the the mac and cheese and, and mm-hmm. baked beans and everything, I, yep. I, I think that is a really cool out of the box yeah. design for a whole meal. Yep. And again, when you're thinking about where you're at, you're walking up and down town Martinsburg or wherever the food festival might be. And you're thinking there might not be a lot of seating for someone. So how am I going to present something like this and have someone be able to eat it while they're walking? Almost like the walking taco, so to speak. But this Ab- is Absolutely. And, and another good thing about that is when you're on your lunch break and yeah. you're running mm-hmm. to get something and you stop and see their food yeah. truck, whoever food truck this yeah. is. And you order this, it's something that you can kind of eat yeah. on the go right at your desk. And, and, and you're not yeah. having, you know, all these containers. Mm-hmm. And, and It's very filling. So I could see having leftovers with this. And they, they give you a lid. You can probably, it, it microwavable, I would, I would assume. So you could toss that in, in, a, in a microwave if you needed to and heat it back up later. Uh, I, 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 from a food presentation standpoint, from a 1 out of 5, I think I'm going to give it a 4.75. I also went with 4.75. I'm going to do yep. the 4.75 as well. Flavor okay. combo. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I've, I've never been a big fan of mixing my foods. Um, or, or some people have like a phobia right. of, their, of their foods even touching one right. another. So. Uh, right. And that's, um, you know, I don't, I don't mix when I'm, when I'm making my, my plate. I don't mix my potatoes and my corn like a lot of the kids do. But right. I didn't mind this. I thought it was, it was delicious mixed together. So one out of ten flavor combo. Um, you add on the factor of the, the two different sauces that they give to you, um, and they give you enough of it that you know you're you're not going to run out. I I think the flavors together paired pair pretty well. I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it an eight point five. I went nine. I do. I agree. I think the flavors all matched. I think mm-hmm. that everything in there was homemade. I mm-hmm. like that nine. I'm going to eight and a half. Very good. All right. Okay, so how do we how do we do the best sides? Because that we've would got be the mac and cheese and the beans. That would be the NA, I would say, I because there's there's really not a side. This is your main meal, so there's really not a side. Maybe if they would have served like with a side of coleslaw or a small mm. salad or you know something of that nature, I would say. <laughs> but uh, I I think that there wouldn't be a side on okay. this one. All right, best use of ingredients, Jim. Well, I think that it's the way that they all work together. At least that's my opinion. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go with an 8.5. Mm-hmm. The three choices that they, you know, I, I don't, I'm, I'm going to assume this is the three that they always use for this. I don't know that for a fact, but right. I, I would think that this is, their, their, you know, the three staples that they consistently use in that. So I would agree. I think that the, the choices that they, they made to put into this bowl was... Uh, was, was were good choices so i'll give it a nine i'm going to go 8.75 right well, that does it for this one so we're going to take another break quick break and we'll be back with the next tasting my kids you know i want the best for you don't you we need to have a conversation end of life planning is no one's favorite discussion but the relief of having everything in place when the hour of need arrives is a gift give it to your family plan ahead with us Brown Funeral Homes, a leading provider of cremations, invites you to explore the many flexible options of cremation. From environmental considerations to the benefit of greatly reduced cost, it may be the perfect answer for your family. Online at brownfuneralhomeswv.com. Brown Funeral Homes, here for you. 
Welcome back to Downtown Martinsburg Food Truck Fest. Look what we have here, and we're going to change it up a bit. Apparently, each one of us have different items in our box. What? And we're not going to share. We are, sharing. we are supposed to judge our own box. All judge right. the box. Now, right. we can talk about, hey, what do you have? Um, but I'm going to start here. And I have a uh, pepperoni roll with a cheese sauce and it looks like it's a nice consistency inside of the roll here i think that's the one item <coughs> that we have the same do you have the same of that yeah i think so pepperoni yeah. roll well it is a west virginia staple it's a west yeah. virginia thing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then i have chili cheese fries okay and it looks like my fries are a maybe a parmesan garlic sauce on them that looks good and my donut looks like maybe an apple pie donut looks delicious all right yeah pepperoni roll <laughs> jim's donut is gone jim's donut is Chocolate gone peanut butter gone. <laughs> hey i'm just trying to get us back on schedule <laughs> i'm just trying to get us on schedule and uh bacon cheese fries mm. which is a uh, west virginia staple yeah Mm. I mean, how can you go wrong with anything that has bacon on it? Well, I don't think you can. All right. So, presentation. Well, everything looks delicious, even the ones I'm not eating. So, I think, you know, when you look at presentation and how, how it looks ap appealing to you, um, everything, all, all of them look equally delicious yeah i went 4.75 mm -hmm. i think i'll go 4.75 as well i'm gonna go for the 4.50 oh then flavor combo well, i haven't had my donut yet but um i think the the dough on my pepperoni roll is a little hard um, mine is as well so but but the inside uh, is tender yes the overall flavor um, once you once you peel that piece off, and that could just be the whole mass-producing thing, right? Um, and uh, but my my fries are delicious. The sauce um, has obviously some some garlic and some parmesan shredded parmesan on top. A little bit of maybe and that is real fresh parmesan. parmesan. Yeah, that is fresh parmesan is. grated. That is not yes. the powdered stuff out of. The can that you buy on the no, this shelf at the supermarket. The, I don't know if that you could see it. I'm not sure if you could tell in the picture, <clears throat> but it is freshly grated Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley uh, sprinkled on the top. So delicious. Very yeah, I, good. I think the pepperoni roll was a savory donut. Mm. I don't. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. I went 8.5. I, okay. I think that it was very good, and I did not mind the texture of the donut pepperoni roll. I'm gonna go eight and a half. All right, I'm going to try my donut. All right. Mm. We're getting the mm -hmm. chew less, Donna. We're getting mm. the hurry up and grade. <laughs> <laughs> my donut, it's like, an a it's like you're eating a slice of apple pie. Delicious. So best flavor combo. I'm going to go, I'm going to give them an eight. So are we counting... The pepperoni donut is a side, or are we saying there's no side NA I'm, on this? I would say no side. Okay. I think it's just so like a, a combo type mm -hmm. thing. So for ingredient, yeah. I went with nine. I'm going to go with eight. Yeah, I'm going to give them an 8.5. I, um, I really, I, I have never, ever had fries with that type of topping on them. You think chili cheese fries. Um, you think, you know, a lot of the, you know, franchisee type restaurants, they do a lot of loaded fries and loaded uh, nachos and things like that. But this is different with the garlic sauce and the, and the fresh Parmesan. So that, yeah, it was very good. So I gave them a nine. Okay. I'm sorry, I gave them an 8.5. <laughs> On that note, we'll be right back after these messages. Insurance companies like to play games. They say they're on your side, but they aren't. We have a team that can handle any curveball they throw. At Burke, Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkinson, you get a dedicated lawyer, and every case gets a team effort. So you get nearly 150 combined years of experience going to bat for you. And we like to win. 
Join the team that takes your personal injury case seriously. Burke Schultz, Harmon, and Jenkins. We play hardball. Welcome back. And now we have our dessert. Now this is a different type of funnel cake. It is topped with strawberries. And is this whipped cream or is it like an ice cream? Have we decided? I, there looks like there might be some pudding or custard of some sort. Boston cream type on top. Yeah, this and is, then maybe yeah this is live <laughs> so yeah it's hard to tell mm -hmm. if, if it's because you know things are being run to us so 10 or 15 minutes mm. it's good <laughs> that is delicious <laughs> oh kevin kevin missed out on this one kevin really <laughs> missed out on this one see what happens when he ate all of my funnel cake yeah, <laughs> mr mayor he would have been <laughs> i don't, I don't the think the house. mayor's wife is going to give him two kitchen passes in mm -hmm. one day so we should probably uh, not even let him know that we had this mm -hmm. one wow okay presentation on this one yeah, that's not you know i have to say mm. or is four and a half or is this best dessert oh wow yeah oh are we only doing dessert best dessert under best dessert are we doing all of the well, yeah, did we do the other, we did the other funnel cake under dessert. Okay. So let's mm -hmm. do this one as dessert. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a nine. Mm. Yeah. Actually, actually, I'm going to give it a 9.25. <laughs> I went 9.85. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But only because I don't believe in tens, unless uh -huh. it's Bo Derek. No, I'm just kidding. I, I just, I just can't give a ten. This is as good as it gets. This it's is. Crispy. I agree. It's sweet, but it's not terribly sweet. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of texture. You got the strawberries. Yeah, sometimes when you go and get a funnel cake, like I'm thinking, you know, on the boardwalk, and they put the strawberry toppings on, a lot of it you can tell is just right out of a can and it's got a lot of syrup. Oh, yeah. Oh, a yes. lot of syrup. Yes. This doesn't have that. It's got uh, maybe the, the custard or pudding that they put on it, the topping of the whipped cream, and, and then they've got just sliced strawberries on there. And they might be frozen strawberries, but uh, they have a good flavor. They're not they're very soggy. Good. They're and then they end, then they top it even yet again with some sprinkles. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give this dessert a 9.75. Very good. Yeah, outstanding. Mm. I went 9.85. Mm. <laughs> I thought Jim was close. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. No. So we're talking we're about pre are we talking about presentation now? No, I believe that we just were doing the dessert. We're doing the dessert. Okay. So 9.85. We'll be back with our next uh, uh Food Taste. truck participant. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. Welcome back to the Food Fest, downtown Martinsburg. What does it look like we are having on our plates right now, guys? Uh, I believe it's a turkey wing. It has uh, what I, I would think is or maybe a jerk seasoning. Oh, okay. Or it's a giant chicken. <laughs> mm, no, I believe it's a, a turkey wing as well. I would say. Let's see. <clears throat> hmm. Well... Seasonings, from from a jerk standpoint, if it is, a little sweet. I don't, I'm not, I don't taste a lot of heat. What do you think, Jim? Not all jerk is heat. Mm -hmm. But wait, why were you looking at me when you said that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she thought you were a jerk. Well, I was thinking that she doesn't <laughs> think I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, but I did not dig into the skin a whole lot because mm -hmm. of the chew. Right. Um. So I was basing my observation on <coughs> just the meat itself as the jerk flavoring. Mm -hmm. But I do agree. I do believe that there's a sweet component to it. I do think that the, the uh, potato salad, um, it, they use a finer chop on the potatoes. I do think that there's some bigger bites. The macaroni salad, clearly baked. Yeah, it is. But there's jalapenos in there. There is. Yeah. I did not get a jalapeno oh, in yeah. my first bite. The flavor in that mac and cheese. Delicious. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. That is phenomenal. Yeah. 
Oh, Let's yeah. try the potato salad. I like that. Yeah, I did get, in my second bite, I did get the, the jalapeno. I didn't like that. I think I'm actually going to change my flavor combo vote and is that. And is that a, in the potato salad, is there some dill in there? I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, pretty good, too. I actually like different the potato salad mm -hmm. cut small like that. Because a lot of times the potatoes can be so big that when you bite into the potatoes, you're just getting like that raw yeah, potato. Yeah, flavor. Uh -huh. yeah, whereas, good point. Where this way, every bite is, mm -hmm. is the same flavor. Yeah. Yep. The green beans. <clears throat> so, should we start on food presentation? I want to scale one to five. I'm going with the four. Yep. I will... I'll go with a 4.25. I'm going to go with a 4.25 as well. Very good. Mm -hmm. Then flavor combo, I went with 8.5. Yep, I think it, I think everything had a really great flavor. I'm really impressed with the jalapeno. It, I like that macaroni and that cheese. That macaroni and cheese. That yeah. macaroni and cheese is Again, not something delicious. I would typically think you'd put in a mac and cheese. Right. I've so heard lots nice of mac risk. and cheese, something right. like that. But a little bit mm -hmm. of the heat like that. Yep. Nice risk. I like that. Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to go eight and a half on the mm. on the flavor combo. Yep. I'm giving it 8.25. Best use of ingredient. Mm. Well, again, the little bit of dill splashed into that potato salad, the way they diced everything up much smaller. And like you mm -hmm. said, uh, every bite's getting all of the flavors. Yeah. The difference between good and great, I think, yeah. is yeah. the when you take that care and time and attention so a little bit of dill in the potato salad elevates a little bit of jalapeno, jalapeno yeah. in the uh um, it up a notch yep mm -hmm. agree. The green beans have not just a seasoning like a f um, in it but they they've put some red peppers in mm -hmm. there so great job i'm great gonna job. go 8.75 yep i was Ooh. going 8.75 as well very good outstanding uh best side are we going oh. <laughs> That's a difficult one. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with uh, the mac and cheese. Mm hmm And I'm going to say I would give that mac and cheese a nine. Yeah. I'm, <clears throat> I'm, going, I'm going nine, too, because not something you typically would put, and I think that was an excellent risk to take. Absolutely. I would definitely Fantastic. order that and, and mm -hmm. make but that myself. I was going to ready to say. It's definitely something I might have to try to make. Very good. I went with 7.5. Yeah. Okay. I believe that that is all of our uh, categories for this dish, and we'll see you right You've been in an accident. Why won't the insurance company pay? Because they're trying to save money at your expense. Call Mansion Ferretti for your free consultation. We have the experience to deal with the insurance company and get you the compensation you deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Welcome back. Looks like that we're gonna try some uh, pierogies. And is this like a chili cheese sauce with some sour cream? That is chili. I'm gonna put that on top of this pierogi here. I think the pierogies might have, um, I think Donna and I were talking as we were mm. fighting off the yellow jackets, <laughs> uh, maybe a cheesy potato filling. That is delicious. Mm. Yeah, very good. Absolutely yes. delicious. Very good. I kind of dipped mine like a, uh, like a chip. No. Put a little bit of sour cream, sour cream on mm -hmm. top here. <clears throat> Presentation. I'm going to go with 4.5. Yeah, they are... The pierogies are, are are fried a little bit and have a nice crisp to them. The they've put some melted cheese, melted some cheese on top of the chili. It's it's really really good. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with a 4.5. Best flavor combo. I, everything complements one another with this dish, from the pierogi to the chili that has the cheese. You add the sour cream. I'm going to go uh, best flavor combo on this is 8.75. Yeah, I'm going to give it an 8. I'll go with 8 as well. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that there's a side with this dish. Uh, best use of ingredients. What do you think there, Jim? 
Well, I thought the, the ingredients complemented each other. I thought it was thoughtful that the sour cream was provided separately instead of dolloped on it. So I'm going to go with an 8.0. Yeah, <clears throat> I'll give it I'll give it to Jim on that one. Yes. I'm not a fan of sour cream unless it is actually in, an, in, in a recipe. So I don't usually eat sour cream on top of my baked potatoes and whatnot. So this... This was, uh, again, like, like Jim said, very thoughtful of them to provide it in a separate container. And um, it, it, was, it was delicious. I, I enjoyed it. I'm going to give it an 8. Okay, I'm going to go 8.25. And on that, we'll be right back. This is Eric at Hagerstown Ford. Over the last decade, the way we buy things have evolved. Now, you get on your phone, click Want It, and it shows up at your front door. At Hagerstown Ford, it is that convenient. We've changed the car buying experience on the I-81 corridor forever. And with a return policy better than Walmart, there's absolutely no reason to buy a newer used car, truck, or SUV anywhere else. Just like Amazon, Hagerstown Ford will deliver the vehicle to you, where you are, and on your time. And if you don't want it, return it, no questions asked. Why waste your time at a car dealership playing the dumb back-and-forth games? Besides, we hate it more than you do. I assure you, no dealership from Winchester, Virginia to Washington, D.C. will beat our price. No dealership from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to Baltimore, Maryland will beat our price. And no other dealership will allow you to return it if you don't want it. Hagerstown Ford absolutely provides the best experience at the best price. Visit HagerstownFord.com to schedule your VIP experience. Click on the vehicle you want and get your new ride delivered to you at no risk. See dealer for details. Welcome back to downtown Martinsburg. We are now changing up to looks like a lobster roll. Wow, this looks and smells amazing. Jim's wasted uh, no time. Why would I mm. waste time when there's lobster in front of me? That is great flavor. We've got some lettuce on there. Yeah. The lobster's not overcooked. I was just it's getting ready to say it's not, it's not rubbery chewy. or chewy or mm -hmm. anything like that. Yep. We've got shoestring fries with it. Is that like a, a beer flavor on that lobster? It might be. Maybe soaked in, boiled in it. Maybe. Steamed. Steamed in it, I guess. Presentation? Mm. I thought when it came out, it they had it presented nicely. They had it cut <laughs> nicely for us. Not sure if that's just for us or whether they, that's the way they right. serve it. Um, and, and again, in a nice clear container, so you can kind of see what you're getting when they're handing it to you. I'm going to give it right a, five. a five. Wow. I'm going 4.75. I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. I thought it looked nice. Shoe string I'm going for the, the presentation. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Presentation, 4.75. I'm going to give them a 4.5. Flavor combo. With the, the lettuce and the, the lobster, it, it had a great flavor to it. I'm going to give it um, eight. I think the roll may actually be seasoned a bit as well. Um, so oh, well, that's good care. Mm -hmm. gar it's garlic. It's a garlic roll. Garlic roll. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to give them uh, 8.5. I'm going nine. And the best side. <coughs> well, it's to me, it's the fries. fries. Yeah, they weren't I seasoned mean, uh, no with anything really, except for some, maybe some salt, a little bit of maybe fresh cracked pepper. Um, I want to go to four. Yeah, I'll give them a 4.5. So on a scale of one to ten, we're going with four. On the fries. On the fries. On the side. On the side. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going seven. Best use of ingredients. I thought they did a nice job. Um, you know, I've had lobster rolls before, and they're they're on a, a roll that sometimes is a little mushy. Mm -hmm. um, you've got to you've You've got to make sure that uh, you know you're you're putting it on something that's gonna support the the thick the heavy denseness of of a lot of you know piece of lobster. And again, I don't I don't know how if this is exactly how they they serve it or if this is how it was served to us, but it's nice when you can't see the bread. Mm. Oh, good point. Very mm -hmm. good you point. Know, you has to yeah. be covered. The bread has to be covered. Yep, I go 8.5. Certainly. I, I'm going to go with an 8. I'm going 9. I thought it was delicious. I like the fact that they put it on a garlic roll as opposed to a plain roll. Oh, good call. Um, I, I'm actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a 9.5. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. no, it, was, it, I, it was The bread was just, yeah, I'm a bread girl. Donna likes like, the lobster. I like the bread. <laughs> All right. Well, we have plenty more to uh, taste, and we have some guests coming up. So we'll see you back here in just 
a few minutes after our break. With Honda, every summer adventure is the destination. Take your adventures even farther with Honda, America's most fuel-efficient full-line automaker. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 2.9% APR on a 2022 Honda Civic and a 3.9% APR on a 2022 Accord or 2023 HRV. CMA's Honda of Winchester, 3985 Valley Pike. CMA, moving lives forward. See dealer for financing details exclusive at SI based on EPA estimate of MY20 full-line automaker fleetwide fuel economy 2021 EPA automotive trends report. Welcome back to Cooking with Crush at downtown Martinsburg. I am honored to have Miss West Virginia with us today. Would you? Absolutely. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. So, my name is Elizabeth Lynch, and I am your Miss West Virginia 2022. Today, enjoying the sunshine and enjoying the food. Well, thank you for being here. And we're uh, tasting the, uh, looks like Greek food here. So, what do you like about it? Right, you can take that off camera yeah. when we're finished here and finish her. And what about the uh, baklava? I'm really picky on my pastries too, and this was nice and flaky. Like the apple was kind of really comfortable, is what I think it tastes like, but I have no idea if they have baklava before, so this is Oh, okay. Yeah, first time. Oh, well, <coughs> I'm glad that you got to try it here with us on TV10 for the first time, and thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for allowing me to come out and speak with you guys. Absolutely. Donna, what do you think? I am going to start with what I started with first, which was the baklava. <laughs> um, I agree with what Miss West Virginia said. It was nice and flaky, and um, and, and yet, um, you know, it, the the filling was um, thick, and it just it had a really nice flavor. So I enjoyed that as well. Jim. Yeah, I, I like the, the the baklava. I thought was outstanding. All I I just want to make sure that I point out to the sports doctor. If you were here, I'm sitting at a table with Miss West Virginia. <laughs> Suck it, Colin. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I thought the baklava was outstanding. I you know I I would score a 9.5. Mm-hmm. I would have to say the same. Yeah. Nine and a half on the dessert for the baklava. Mm-hmm. That's what I gave it as well. So if we move on to food presentation. Mm-hmm. I think the presentation of the uh, baklava with the the way that it's it's layered with the phyllo dough, you know that and the the consistency of the filling, mm-hmm. I think that that gives it a great look to it. Uh, the euro, it is the perfect amount of protein versus the vegetables right. versus the tzatziki sauce. Mm-hmm. So I think. I am going to give that an 8.75. On food presentation, we're yeah. we're to one one to f- on a uh, scale one to five. I thought we were doing <laughs> the uh, flavor combo. <laughs> I'm gonna go four so, and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree. I think um, sometimes you'll get too much, you know, too much of the veggies on something, or too much of the meat. Right. out of yeah. the. Nope. I think yeah. uh, you're right. You're spot on. I'm gonna give it a four. <clears throat> Jim? Flavor combo? Uh, best food presentation. I did that. 4.5. Oh. I went oh, first. Oh, went first. <laughs> all right. Flavor combo. He jumps the gun all the time. I think, well, is, is it, you're getting too much sugar I, in your girls? That's what it is. That's what's out of here, ladies? Absolutely. <laughs> in a food coma. I think we are in a food coma. <laughs> all right. Best flavor combo. Best flavor combo. Scale of 1 to 10. I will give this one a 7.5. I'm going to get 8.75. Yeah, I went 9.5. I thought this wow. was a good mix. I really liked the, the, the Euro. I really liked the uh, the sweet that, that came with the dessert. I thought this was a great combination. And obviously, we don't have a side with this because the baklava is the dessert. dessert. Okay. Uh, best use of ingredients. <coughs> I think I'm going to give that a 9. Yeah, I'll go 9 too. Yeah. I'm going I'm to go 8.75 on this one. So, Miss West Virginia, do you have anything else to add as we uh, identify the food? Absolutely. So, not really about this meal particularly, but in the food in general. So, we're out here in Martinsburg celebrating local food trucks, and my social impact initiative is all about advocating for Appalachian agriculture. Of course, what are we going to do when we eat but thank our local farmers and I'm sure they're trying to shop local and just understand exactly where that food came from. So, that's my job. That's what I try to advocate for everywhere I go. So, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that. Very yeah. good. Thank yeah. you so much. Well, thank right. you so much, Miss West Virginia, for being here with of us. Of course. Thank you, guys. Thank and you. And we'll be right back.
With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one for used cars, too. See why so many won't buy anywhere but Parsons Ford in Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. I'm going to move on so to the best use of ingredient, fresh. Best use of ingredients, I mean, you have the fresh cheese, you have the fresh cilantro, uh, the limes, the onions, and the way it's incorporated with every single protein, whether it's the steak, the chicken, pork, carne asada, whatever, it looks like they did a fantastic job with incorporating all the ingredients. Yeah. And I think I am going to give them an eight and a half. Yep, oh. I'm, I'm going 8.25. I'm going 8. All right. Okay. We're going to take one more short break, and we'll be right back. You've been in an accident. Why won't the insurance company pay? Because they're trying to save money at your expense. Call Mansion Ferretti for your free consultation. We have the experience to deal with the insurance company and get you the compensation you deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. Welcome back to the downtown Martinsburg. We're about to try some curry and this is our last dish of the day. And then I think we're all gonna go take a nap. No, <laughs> well, after, after, after we do this, we've got to go. Gonna what go, are we going to do? We're going to go judge some food trucks. So we're going to look at their presentation, mm -hmm. their displays, talk with the crowd, and then uh, I think we're going to get um, the professor, Spencer Dupuy, to tally up all the scores. I think that's a great idea. He can definitely do that while we're grading while the trucks. While we're grading the trucks, Absolutely. he can do the scoring. And, uh, I hope he can count to 10. Oh, oh he, went, he went to Marshall. We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. He went to Marshall. We'll walk some of these calories off and be back with a we're, fresh... Uh, we're judging curry, I believe. Mm. A little chicken thigh, got some shrimp, nice vegetables. The rice it, is cooked perfect. I oh. always like that they use the chicken thigh. It's the, one of the one of my favorite cuts of the chicken. It's juicy. It's, um, it's not a dry flavor. meat, yeah. yeah. You appreciate the moist meat. I do. Good. What do you think, Jim? Food presentation for me, I'm going to go with the 4.0. I thought it was outstanding. Very good looking mm. plate. Good job. I've got a few shrimp tossed in there as well. That chicken is very moist, very flavorful. Yeah. Let me try the shrimp. Anybody want to give a score for presentation? That's not rubbery. I would say... 4.25. Ooh. Mm. I love the curry. I love the cabbage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a 4.5. Oh, so we all agree. Very good mm -hmm. presentation yeah. skills. Combo. Flavor combo. I think they did an amazing job with the, like Precious said, the rice. They tossed in a few beans. The great piece of chicken, uh, cut of the chicken that they used. Um, the uh, <laughs> cabbage, again, Great, great combination of flavors. So I'm going to give this one a nine. I'm going to go with an eight. <clears throat> I'm going to go with an eight and a half. Very good. Yeah. Best side. I think we have to go with the cabbage on this one. Cabbage was cooked perfectly. Really? I think I was going to go with the, the rice and the beans. Okay. No, it's, it's a side off. Mm. So each of you can score what you I think, think so based too. on what you think was the best side yeah. in the bowl. Okay. All right. I'm going to give the cabbage a 9.25. And I am going to give the rice and beans a 9. There you go. I'm going to go 7. Best use of ingredient? That's tough because there are a lot of ingredients yes. mm -hmm. in curry. And, and this is something you can't whip up in a two, five minute, mm -hmm. you know, thing. It, it's hours because you yeah. have to roast the chicken and you got to marinate the chicken the the beans and the rice i'm gonna say i think i'm gonna go with it with an eight yeah i'm gonna give them an 
two, five. I'm going seven. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go take a walk and give Spencer an opportunity to tally up the score sheets, and we'll be right back. Thank you, Spencer. Hello. We're here again three times in the past two days. You're where? Bechtel Jewelers. Look. Can Mom hear you? No, she's in a diamond coma. Get her the pendant or I will. Hey, that's my credit card. What? Can't hear you, Dad. You're breaking up. It's going to take more than a crying baby to wake her out of this diamond coma. You're going to need a mega dose of jewelry from Bechtel Jewelers. We're wrapping up what was one of the best days that we've ever had here on Main Street uh, in downtown Martinsburg. I just want to start by thanking all of our sponsors um, and, and most importantly, Advocate Insurance Group. Uh, without them, outside of just their financial generosity, they've helped plan this event. Uh, they've you know, been the inspiration behind this event. And uh, for anybody looking for you know, a good local insurance agency, Advocate Insurance Group right here in downtown Martinsburg is your group. Um, very invested in the community. And I also want to thank some of the folks that made this happen. First and foremost, our volunteers. Uh, we couldn't do what we're doing today without the folks that spend their time and uh, give so generously of their time. Uh, outside of finances, time is the most valuable currency that we have, and they're out here uh, giving of their time. And I want to thank TV10 and uh, WRNR for being here, Hornby Media Group. Um, just so appreciative of the folks in this community that are partnering with us on these things to make it an exciting event for everybody in the community. And if you're watching at home, I hope you came out today, and I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, we really, I mean, we couldn't have asked for better weather, a better turnout. Everybody was talking about how awesome the music was. Um, it's just been an all-around 10 out of 10 day. And, uh, you know, from Raven and I here at Main Street and our board, we just want to thank you, the community, for coming out. Uh, all of this is in vain if we don't have a great turnout from the community. And you guys showed up and showed out, so uh, we're really appreciative. And lastly, I just want to thank uh, the City of Martinsburg, City Council, um, and uh, specifically the Public Works Department, because those guys get here. I got here at 6 a.m. today. I don't know what time it is now, um, but... Uh, you know, they'll be here. They were here when I got here, and they'll be here after I leave. So um, the help, the, uh, the Public Works Department, um, they go above and beyond at all of this stuff. And uh, without them, we couldn't do these events. So we appreciate them. We appreciate the city and uh, everybody that made this event happen. So without further ado, we had a great lineup of food today from what yes, I've been told. We did. Yeah? The food was phenomenal. Every single food truck, kudos to every one of you. Well, and that's what we like to hear. So if you're watching this, I hope you have a favorite. You're waiting to hear who won. Uh, and if you weren't here, you better get here for Christmas. Um, Christmas on Main is going to be everything and a bag of chips with the ch that, the, that the food truck fest was. Um, so uh, we're going to have everybody out here. So we're just going to go through the list. Um, starting at the top, we have the best dessert. And that was a pretty diverse category. We had a lot of different desserts. So... I'm interested to see what the panel thought. That was very difficult because all the desserts were amazing, but a huge congratulations to Funneling Around. Funneling Around, there you have it. Uh, they're a staple of our events. They help us out with everything. They're here, and uh, wow, congrats to you guys. Next on the list, we got the best design and setup of the truck. So, you know, if you were here, you saw there's, there's some folks that have tent setups. There's, you know, a whole different array of what's going on. Uh, so this is for the best truck setup. Jim? Yeah, great setups all around, but the best overall design for the truck was Ford's food truck. Ford's food truck, you heard it here first. Those lobster rolls are pretty darn good. I'm happy to hear that for those guys. Tony, thanks for coming to these things. Uh, next, we got the best food presentation. And I have to say, I'm sure you guys got a better view of it than I did uh, on the B-roll because I saw some of these plates. Golly, those were very impressive setups for a food truck. So I'm excited to hear this one. Yeah, so Robbie, it, another tough decision. I'll piggyback with what Kresha and Jim has said. All of the presentations were amazing. Uh, to see them, to taste, uh, just a fun, fun uh, experience. So the winner of the best food presentation is New Sillies. New Sillies, hello, some barbecue. Let me say, I went to Austin, Texas a few weeks ago to visit my brother-in-law. We got some really good barbecue here in Martinsburg. 
I mean, I traveled across the country to get some good barbecue, but we got some good stuff here. Good, good job, New Sillies. All right, we got best flavor combo. Kresha? Yes, best flavor went to James Rumsey Technical Center. Our kids. Doing it for the kids. I love it. Best flavor combo. Can you elaborate a little bit? I'm curious about that one. What what, what went into the best flavor? What, what stood out about, about that? It was just all the ingredients that they incorporated. The flavors married very well with one another. And I went to James Rumsey, so I'm very pleased that they won this overall because when I went there, Mr. Easton was the instructor and he taught us so much how to, you know, incorporate different foods, break down recipes. Yeah. It's an amazing institute. That's awesome. And I have to say, uh, you know, they are not just for kids that are in the high school, you know, trying to get extra credit or extra, you know, different courses. I mean, they have a great entrepreneur program. I know Betsy Heath is doing an awesome job out there. So uh, shout out to James Rumsey. Good job, guys. And you guys are doing awesome work outside of just your food truck. So well done. Best side. This will be interesting. I'm curious, Jim. Yeah, king of flavor, man. They brought it. Woo. King of flavor. Jamaican, man. I love it. I love it. Good stuff. What do we got here? Best use of an ingredient. This will be very interesting. I'm sure this was probably one of the tougher ones yeah. to decide. Yeah, absolutely. Once again, um, the use of ingredients and different ingredients that we might have uh, thought might have been a risk at times, just uh, just amazing use by all of the food trucks. But we have to give uh, it to Toasted Food Truck because, you know, they took a, a, a it was the, their take on just the, just, you know, the, the, the kid staple of a grilled cheese sandwich and just kicked it up a notch and they brought that. Toasted. I love it. Love it. I knew grilled cheese would somehow sneak their way in there. I didn't know what they would win. I think it was the bacon and the jalapenos. The it bacon was, and jalapenos. Was, was that, that high level brought it up a notch. I'm, not, I'm kind of I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to, to heat, <laughs> but uh, you know I'm, I'm willing to try everything once. So that, that's cool. That's cool. Well, this is it. This is the one everybody's been waiting for, and uh, Raven's got the plaque, and this is for a $500 prize and free entrance to next year's event, and of course, bragging rights. So, uh, Kresha, do us the honors. Mountaineer Smokes. Mountaineer Meat Smokers, how about it? Travis Bishop, my man. Congratulations, Travis. So we got two barbecue trucks on this. That's awesome. I, I couldn't be happier about this, and I'm so thankful again, TV10, for partnering with us on this, uh, and uh, Hornby Media Group. We're so thankful, if you were here, Thank you. If you weren't, that's on you. Hope to see you at the next one.